Not all the messages through. Welcome to tonight's show. This usually runs about three hours. If you're new here, we have an incredible set of women and gentlemen that join in on the live chat. We talk about everything. Makeup, skincare, hair care, life, you name it. We talk about it. We have fun. Like I said, it usually lasts about three hours. Uh, tonight, I am going to show you a recent haul from Clarity Cosmetics. Of course, I got more Team U stuff in. It just happens. <laughs> and then I had another box of like a little bit of Macy's and like HSN. I think that's all of it. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Laura. <laughs> Hello, Miss Pam. I got you guys kind of all cockeyed here because I'm trying to so that the gummy bears in the way. The gummy bears away from me. I'm going to drop this. <laughs> ah. I'm just trying to, so I can read the comments over here. <laughs> ah, dyed the hair again today. Um, yeah, it's still blonde, but it's purple-ish, but there's still blonde running through it. Never had anything like this happen ever, so I'm not sure if what's happening. I did change my chat settings first thing. I was a good girl. <laughs> Hello, Miss Caitlin. Oh, no problem, dear. Hey, when you gotta work, you gotta work. Hello, bunny girl. Hi, Bam. Yeah, it's definitely more purple. So today is a mixture of, let's see, uh, the one that was the tint called Cloud. This one probably had like a quarter of it left. And then this is Moonchild, which is semi-similar. This is Moonchild here. Now this is not a tint. And this was about yeah, three quarters full. So basically these two together gets this but you have to remember this was not going over straight platinum blonde hair so if you just go to yesterday's video you'll see it was purplish blue but it definitely like i said the roots grab i mean look how dark the root action goes but once you let it down that the, the blonde's just not grabbing I, I, but it looks kick-ass i mean i even greg's like oh i still got half a blonde or three quarters of a blonde <laughs> But it is what it is. But yeah, that's what these two are together. That's what happens when it goes over yesterday's color. And now those have to go in my empties. What is wrong? I'm not. I feel like this is all cocked sideways. Hello, Miss Nix. Hello, Miss Teresa. Nice, I had Teresa. Jeannie. Uh, I appreciate when you go back and watch them. Trust me. All right. Clarity Cosmetics. What did I get here? Uh, this was two orders. One of them was where she was still doing these. Um, Like, find the three items that are free and you just pay shipping. And one of them was skincare. That's all upstairs. And then this one was makeup. It was like a single eyeshadow, a highlighter, and a palette. And the palette, I want to say, had either four or five shades. So it's like, if you find the three, you put them in the basket, you pay just the shipping. Well, the box came and it literally had the highlighter and the eyeshadow. And I'm like, wasn't there a palette in this thing? And once I opened the receipt, I could see that they said, you know, oversold it, out of stock, whatever. So didn't get that. Didn't get an adjustment on the shipping, but eh, it is what it is. I mean, things like that, I go... I save so much money in other places on shipping that if I occasionally pay shipping, it's okay. It's okay to occasionally pay shipping. Oh, thank you, Pam. Yeah, it's like a pastelish, lavenderish. It's still kind of that peri. Oh, I did add. That's why it's a little blue. Um, that punky color shampoo. Um, maybe it's because I know that stuff's potent. I think I put about a quarter of a teaspoon. So it was like three little drops, basically, because only a quarter of a teaspoon. Wasn't much, maybe half a teaspoon, not even half a teaspoon. Because I already had the whole, you know, thing where you put the color in. That was filled to the top. And I was like, oh, I just wanted a little more blue, you know, to it. So actually, I forgot that, that I put like, yeah, half a teaspoon tops of that in. And then the next haul I did was 
just a haul. I picked up a couple palettes, an empty palette, and a couple highlighters blush, and we're going to get into that and everything. Yeah, it does. Yeah, she's right. Kind of, yeah. My hair matches the, the ABH palette over here. <laughs> I like being purple, like I said, because it makes my hazel eyes pop. I, Caitlin, I still don't know. I don't, because don't forget this. I think it's with the hair. I don't know. I don't know if it was the bonding shampoo, but then none of my head would grab it. And like I said, I that's been weeks since I used any type of that bonding shampoo where it would lock down, you know, my cuticles. So, like I said, the next time I'm just going to go have her bleach the whole thing again. And then we'll start over and see what happened because I've never had this happen. But at least it looks cool. Oh, thank you, Laura. Nix is wondering, has everybody seen the new Rick and Morty collab with Glamlight? Yes, it's been all over Instagram. That's all I keep seeing. And Nix is getting the whole thing. Hello, Miss Jennifer. Hope all is well in San Diego. Oh, Laura bro broke her no-buy yesterday. I was impressed that it lasted that long. Would it last 24 hours? <laughs> okay, so the free item, or well, not free, but the, the pick, when I was playing the game, looking for the items, I'm pretty sure this is the highlighter, because I know I wouldn't have. No, I didn't buy it. Okay, this was, it's called uh, Summer Bronze. Face and body highlighter, and you do get seven and a half grams of product. Clarity, another indie brand, been loving for years and years and years. <laughs> so I know she's like, I think she's rebranding and all that. So it's not like I picked, you know, the shade. And then I did buy this. It's a little empty magnetic palette. Well, it's not empty anymore. <laughs> so I bought these two, this, and then this shade here which is a duo multi-chrome. I see pink, green, maybe gold. We'll find out here in a minute. Let's see what she does. That was the other item that, like, you had to find. Oh, I should tell you what it's called, huh? <laughs> and this is a 37 millimeter pan. 26 millimeter, 37 millimeter. Ah, uh, this is called Hush, and it does say multi-chrome shadow. It does look like this. I don't know if you catch the flips in this. Almost looks like the highlighter next to it on me. A little green, definitely some gold. Ah, I can see the pink occasionally, because it's this one here. It all depends on the light, though, with it. Okay. And these other two are 37 millimeter pans. This is uh, Rosebud, and this is just a pressed pigment. So use it as eyeshadow, use it as blush, use it however you wish. There is this. And then I figured since everybody's losing their fucking minds about getting pink blush, while you're on these indie sites, I can guarantee every one of them is going to have a matte, hot pink, baby pink, whatever the fuck you want to call this. This is called Baby Breath Pressed Pigment. <laughs> and you'll probably get more pigment out of these than out of anything at the store. I mean, look at this damn thing. But I know it's like what that... Fucking Dior blush and all that. Why pay $40? When And she probably sells these in two different sizes. A lot of clarity. Of You can... Oh, let me drop that. Sometimes you could pick between... Oh, I want the 26 millimeter. Uh, the 37. And occasionally... This, this is the 57 millimeter. Which holds, like I said, this holds 7.5, 8 grams of product. 37s could hold up to 3. And 26 mils can um, hold up to two, usually. They usually go about one and a half, but two would be max. So that's what I put in this little palette here. Oh, we got, we got, a, we got a big old cocktail tonight. 
<laughs> this thing's huge. Um, Malibu pineapple again with iced tea. <laughs> I almost broke open a bottle of Bordeaux. My, I got some throat thing. I, I look, yeah, I am swollen. You can see how this is all swollen here. I don't know what the hell's going on. So I'm like, I'm just going to stick to regular alcohol and not possibly waste a bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, what a good girl. Okay, Laura was placing TV orders instead of makeup. Hello, Miss Marsha. Hello, Linda. Alexandria in the house. Yeah, she makes, wait till you see these palettes here. Your teeth, you're just going to be like, holy shit. Oh, I got some of those multi-sticks. Yeah, I got, you know me, I got them. Hmm. Hi, Legendary Beauty. <laughs> Funny, yeah, that pink that seeks out any blush collection I have it in Too Faced and we look, yeah. And like I said, if you even have it, don't forget, use eyeshadows if you have to. You don't have to go buy a new fucking pink blush. We're playing with everything. <laughs> when are we never playing? Clarity Cosmetics still. This I bought. <laughs> uh, Pop and Peach. Again, pressed pigment blush. She's huge. <laughs> she's pigmented. <laughs> and she's peachy. Okay. This I... Uh, but I really lilac you and again these are face and body highlighters I think this will throw a cast I'm pretty sure on me oh and I just put it on with the finger that has the, the red all over it Hold on. <laughs> let me wipe that off just to give it a fair shot <laughs> so you're using the finger that's covered in pink yeah so press pigments they stain <laughs> Somebody looking for my. There we go. Whew, she's bright. Oh, I think that Max still uses eyeshadow though. That's all that matters. There. Can I tell you the name of that? I really lilac you. Now this I already knew when I bought it. I go, I know this is gonna look like somebody punched me in the fucking face, but it's a great looking purpley mauve, and you know me, I'm gonna use it as eyeshadow. <laughs> This is again huge packaging. Uh, lilac and around. It's a beautiful purple tone. It's gorgeous. But trust me, I tried it on my cheek and it looked like I got punched. It's not a shade that works with my skin tone for a blush, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> But see, I, that's where I can depot it. Oh, I got the other crap on top of it. Um, and put it in with my mauve purplish shadows that I use specifically for, you know, the crease. Or I can still mix it in with other blushes if I want to. Evil Mermaid. This is a palette. Again, I've played with this already. Uh, deeper greens and blues. And I got my... Oh, this is from Team U, too. This is, um, you know, my God, headband. What's it called? Bandana. So For pride. Hold on, so it matches my nails, because I have pride nails on, too. Uh, here we have Matt, 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 and then the other ones are crazy. <laughs> I'm going to swatch the mats first. This is a big easier on me. The right fingers here. Oh, that blue came out yucky. Is that black or is that a what the hell is that? I'd say it's, yeah, I guess it's black. <laughs> I want to do the which one was it? No. One, two, three. This blue. Okay, I built up a little more. So these are, I just did the mats, which are the X. 
Did I fuck that up? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I covered up one of the other swatches. Oh my god. Am I drunk already? Too much bleach in my brain. Oh my god. I gotta get my... <laughs> I need a wet cloth over here. Hold on. I gotta get this black off my fingers. It's not a black. It's a purple. God, I knew it wasn't black. It it looks black. Let me brush. And on the brush, it looks black, but I think it's a deep purple. I'm wiping on the damn tissue. That's what I'm gonna find out. Or it's a blackened purple, one of the two. Okay, we're gonna go with it's a blackened purple. Because it's definitely not just jet black. There's definitely purple in this shadow. Which works well with blue and green. So that's there's nothing wrong with that at all. Alright, now we'll do the four crazy ones. <laughs> These ones are kind of just like tap your finger on them and they're kind of like soft and I can't tell if they're squishy. Oh god, is that a press glitter? It better not be. That might this this might be a glitter. Oh Jesus! Why are these going on so bad? This one's like a chunky. <laughs> it's maybe one of those chunky ones that you just gotta. Okay, maybe it just has a lot of glitter in it. Cause it is pretty. What the hell one did I do? Okay, the second one that I did, this one here, <clears throat> Murky Waters, is this one. This is a duochrome. It goes green to purple. This blue might be one too. Damn, it does these huge ass nails on. It doesn't even. Again, we can't go by swatches, but I want to say that one goes purple blue. Just got off my, got the left hair on my finger. Okay. We got a ton of makeup. We got, we got to move on. <laughs> so there's Evil Mermaid. And uh, the packaging does match, you know, the box, but all the information's on here. Nothing on here. But you got some cute little skulls and everything that out of the way. <clears throat> and then the other palette I bought is Bloom. And again, this matches this. Ton of product in here. Uh, these are each three and a half grams per pan. This is a lot darker than I thought it would be because I did play with it and went to do looks and it it's just dark. It's a much darker palette than I've Thought I saw online, but we know how pictures of everything online never looks. It either looks better or just different when I get it. <clears throat> like I thought it was lighter shades. I didn't realize they were this dark. We gotta keep up here tonight. We we, we were on fire last week. Oh, Alexandria's got that one. Thank you, Legendary. Teresa's gonna get that freezy moisturizer. Wasn't white. This there was a lot. Oh, unless you guys are talking about something else. <clears throat> yeah, Clarity makes great products, and that's where you can have you know so much where you can use these as face and body products too. Oh God, I haven't seen any of the Ipsy boxy spoilers. No problem, Miss Teresa. It's probably still on there. The Evil Mermaid. Hello, Patty. Oh, no problem, darling. Not like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> oh, 
Laura ordered the new Essence Baked Highlighter. Looks like it's going to be pretty. Yeah, they make nice highlighters. Mm -mm. Contact lenses. Woo. Hello, Miss Rosie. I gotta keep up here. Okay, I was I was up bad last week. Hello, Tracy Lee. You can listen, no problem. All right, <clears throat> let's swatch uh, Bloom. All right, we got. I, th I think it's meant to say Rose. Rose, Rose over Bros. Just funny. I'm just gonna go straight across on this one. Um, don't be so posy. And ah, uh, believable, unbelievable. Cute the way she spelled everything. I've had the wackiest weather here all day. It's just been either gray and raining, then the sun would pop out, and then it would pour, and then it would get rain again, then the sun would come out all day. It's just been like whiplash, just whiplash, whiplash weather. And what am I doing? Laying in bed, watching the storm chasers out in, where the hell was he today? Maybe Oklahoma or something. I just laugh because I sit there and I go, I feel like I'm in the movie Twister <laughs> you know, when they're storm chasing. <laughs> so this is the top row of the blue palette. Are there any shifty ones in here? Maybe not. <laughs> We have Thistle While You Work, which is a cute name. What does this say? Irresistible, but it's like Iris, I-R-I-S. The names are all play on words. It's fun. Uh, just pollen your log. Leg. Pollen your log. <laughs> oh, we know how tonight's going to be. I'm this goofy now. Fucking A. I hope I missed a finger, of course. I think this is a duo. <laughs> see, I can't see now that it's on this side. This would be uh, the irresistible one. Fuck. I'm a hot fucking mess tonight. Oh my god, my hands are just green and purple. <laughs> A dirty girl tonight. Once, what the hell does this say? Once the floral, I don't know what that means. This looks like it's poofing in the pan. Like puffing up on me. I didn't notice that till just now. It's a Oh, it's it, it's very either very loosely pressed, or it's one of those like yeah, it's either really I can't really get any on my finger. It's where it's real flaky. I'm trying to pick some up with a brush that's wet in a minute. Okay, got <laughs> it. It picked up on a wet brush. Uh, I'll do this over the my cupboard tonight. I can see this. All right. I, I didn't notice this the first time I played. It just it, it's just stuck all in the spot. It, it, again, it's picking up on here like a big. It's like the, that's just Urban Decay setting spray, so it's nothing. You can, once you get it going, damn, once you get it going, it's really pretty. But it, oh, I don't want to tip it too much. It's all very, oh, how do I do this? You can just see it's very loose. It's like flaked off. 
I have a 37 mil press, I think. It's just a hand stamp one, so I can hand stamp it. But here's the shade next to it. This is definitely purple. There we go. That was so weird. All right, I'm, I'm gonna keep this palette. I'm gonna put a piece of tissue over that shade. Just because I don't want it poofing, poofing up here. You know what? We got a ton of makeup to play with. We can play with this on another day. Okay. Yeah, I just put a little piece of tissue just right over that shade. Okay. And that's what I picked up from Clarity Cosmetics. But yeah, check her site out. She's been around for years. Great products. Great woman. Look, look at that. I know people are like killing to get this. And if we all went through our collection and went for all our pink mats and everything, y'all know damn well we all got that light pink. Where's my micellar water? <laughs> hmm. Where the hell did I hide that? <laughs> How do I lose a big fucking jar of? I had to move stuff around when I was playing with the dossier yesterday. Yeah, I fra fra Fragrance Friday. I thought that would be fun. We can do that every now and again. I'm like sweating balls and we've been here what? Half an hour. Oh my god. Oh, Patty's got her Mike's Hard Lemonade, Black Cherry Lemonade. Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. <laughs> but at least you're playing with your new makeup area. Laura got her little setup all set up for herself. She can sit there and get beautified and do it all. Uh, Marsha, did anyone catch the Cosmic Brushes restock yesterday? I saw that today on, um, Instagram. She grabbed all three of the palettes that she might have missed before. I went on there. Is that the one that was definitely from out of the country? Because I was like, the I think the palette was like, the new palette was like 25 bucks. And I was like, all right, well, how much? And when I went over, I think it literally said like, um... With, especially with the European shit, a lot of times I don't want to pay shipping. I think it was like a hundred a hundred pound minimum for U.S. shipping. I went, um, no, I don't need your stuff that bad. Oh wait, <laughs> you have to let us know. Lord's drinking coffee and smoking. We'll be smoking in a minute. Yeah, it definitely pigmented. I still got all those Jeffree Star palettes. Still haven't done those yet either. We'll get there. We'll get there. I gotta get to those one of these days, too. Oh, thank you, Miss Laura. She said, thanks for getting the Winky Lux PR. I've got a lot of PR this week. Even I'm like, whoa, whoa okay. You know me, I'm very appreciative of PR. I had some fun shit on, though. Yeah, I like what, like I said, I mean, if you could go back through my thousands of videos, I was using Winky Lux fucking years ago. Years ago. Because they're out of New York. So I can find them at the beauty shows. Um, my mother gave me this cup, so who fucking knows? It has literally no. Is there a name on it? It just says wellness. It's one of these where you can like, yeah, you, know, you can drink it out of the top with the straw. This fucking thing, shoot, it's heavy as hell though. I just knew I'd be. But since my throat was already kind of acting up a little over here, so I was like, uh, well, I'm already going to go on TV with Teresa, getting her cabinet and putting her PJs on. Oh, 
Okay, Angie rate, rated the Serenity palette as the best palette of 2022. Everyone raves about the formula and they sell it in hours. I guess I'll try one day. Marsha, I was actually thinking of you this week. I thought, Marsha, why the hell do you even buy palettes? You said you don't want mattes. Do you like more shimmer metallic formulas? You should be the one hitting up all the indie brands and just buying whatever shade you want. Then you don't have to buy these fucking palettes all the time. I wouldn't buy fucking palettes if, like I said, even like lethal and all that. If I know the company now has singles, I may go, sure, yeah, that's a pretty palette, but I'm not going to use four of the shades. So why the fuck am I going to pay for a palette if I'm not even going to use four of the shades? I'd rather just buy the individual shades that I want to use. I wouldn't even buy palettes anymore, except if I do this. <laughs> she hates singles. <laughs> I can't win then, Marsha. <laughs> can't win. <laughs> oh, I talked to TJ Maxx, too. I don't think I put that in the top. But... It was funny. I was going to meet up with mom to take her to lunch. So, you know me. TJ Maxx across the way, and she's like, well, I don't, she had the doctor first, and she's like, oh, I won't be home until 1230, and I was leaving work, and I went, well, I could kill some time with TJ Maxx. Uh, Too Faced, Sun Bunny, California Glow, uh, $16.99. I was actually able to get this open with these claws on. This is the two-sided one. Because I, you know, need another bronzer. Uh, Elf Bite Size Lip Balm and Coconut. Oh, I thought it was contour. <laughs> Fucking bronzer. <laughs> it's just a lip balm. It was just, I just saw like this and went, oh, this must be a bronzer. It smells like coconut. <laughs> I already have lip stuff on. Uh, the Elf was. Four bucks. Now this I had high hopes of playlist pop party from Sephora, like the Sephora brand. So it's six bucks. And the back is kind of covered. So I went, well, you can't really go by these kind of you know colors on here. So I said maybe there's some fun colors in this palette. I can't even call this a fucking Gina palette. <laughs> It's just sad. I'm sure people like a palette like this. I mean, you got four, four mats. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, these are three pretty shimmery shades. It was six bucks. I thought there was going to be some color in it. I'm not even just watching it because I'm just going to give it away. I was wrong. Uh, Home Spa Exfoliate and Peel Foot Masks. This one is out of Korea, I believe. Dear Boo Home Spa. Yeah, made in Korea. Uh, Six dollars. Got a KVD Beauty XO Lip Gloss. Of course, I didn't even look at the fucking color while I was there. Uh, Petunia. Oh, I just have like lip plump around. It's fine. It doesn't smell like anything. Because you know, you need another lip gloss too. And then this was funny at the register of this is the last thing the kid rings. Um, just a watermelon triple milled soap. Just a big ass bar of fucking soap, you know me. I'll just wash brushes at it. It's huge. It is. It feels like a fucking brick. It's 300 grams or 10.58 ounces. So the kid looks at it and he's like, watermelon? Really? How many cents of soap are there? He goes, oh my God, there's coconut, there's orange, there's this, there's that. And he starts going on and on and on about the fucking soap scents. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, put the soap in the bag before I beat you to death. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, I know, dude. There's every scent flavor on the market. They make it in soap too. I'm a beauty blogger, dude, just whatever. The shit never ends. Bag it. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. But I'm like, you really going to go on about fucking soap? And soap scents? Like, no, just, just please shut up. 
So that was a quick little... Like TJ Maxx, like I said. Marshalls, wherever the fuck it was. <laughs> I thought this was maybe a bronzer stick. Whoopsie. Uh, Team U. I forgot to show you this one time. I use these on my stove. It's a razor blade. It's just, you know, to get anything you get stuck on there. Gets it right off. I've never scratched my stove yet with these. I bought this headband. And then this one for Pride Month. At least this one. These are a little, you can see how you can see the makeup through the back. Um, other headbands in my collection are more solid color. Like, you can't see through them. Um, little on the cheaper side. I haven't washed these two yet. But the other ones that I had last week, I washed them and... They might have shrunk a little bit, but they still had, which I didn't realize until after I washed them, that it's kind of has a sheerness to it. But once you're folding it up like this, I mean, you can tell it's not sheer, though. There's that. Ooh, okay. There's a couple orders also. They all came at different times as usual. Uh, another brush. I just keep buying these random brushes on some of them. I think I'm just more curious of how the cut is and everything. Because, again, this is, like, triangular. This would be, you know, the nose contour. You can do anything with it, actually. A little bit of highlight. Do your concealer. But, yeah. I, th I saw Nady today. He did a team you, and all of his ferals <laughs> were falling off the brushes. <laughs> he hadn't even washed them. And then he's like literally taking it out of the bag and putting makeup on with it. And I was just like screaming at the TV. Fucking Nady, wash those fucking brushes before you put them on. Ugh. This is called Hello Kiss Face Series uh, Shimmer Stick Number 6. I always try to show you the boxes and everything. Because it does just look black. <laughs> Did anyone open this? Oh, this is a, I think this is a cream bronzer that I bought. Yeah. Okay. This is a cream. Let's see which product we get in here. Okay. Standard amount that's in all these big ass tubes. But it is pretty thick. So you really can't say much when it's that thick. Mm. The color's not bad. <laughs> I like that winky looks one. Oh, this actually does come with the um, cap. Also. This one, oh, it's on your suit. Maybe it's because it's sitting in here. It's cold down here. I feel buffed it out a little bit. Not bad. At least it's not fucking yellow. At least it's not yellow. Yeah, this is what I basically did in this order was, I think, more... Because I didn't buy bronzers or anything in the other one. This is T and T Amazing Cosmetics. Uh, this is shade two. It just says compact powder. But I think on the site it says like bronzer. I haven't touched any of this. So. I can use that as bronzer. Yeah. It's light, but that's workable. And we have Mac and Andy, Sweet Girl Silky Blusher. I think this is the one I bought that I already have over here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, this is the Hello Kitty one I want. I'm going to send this to Adrian. I already have this one from like last week or the week before. She's so goddamn cute. I haven't talked to Adrian in a while, so I'm going to surprise her and send her a little Hello Kitty cuteness. And then I bought a bunch of nails, I think. I think these are all nails. Yep. <clears throat> I went the list before. Right, we have these. You gotta remember the nails sometimes are like 87 cents. <laughs> so those. Some fun looking blue ones. I've had a couple come in like this, where, which is fine. We can still give you the little file and everything. 
I think these I bought. Did I buy one of these or two of these? I bought one of these. These are actually the ones I have on now mixed in. So I like this one here. Came out of this box. These are like fun little summery ones. So that was... You know, they, they, all my orders have always been broken into two. So. I don't know. More. <laughs> yeah, I'm th I think I'm done with nails for a while. Unless they put out some other crazy color, which I think this is the second one I have of this, too. When you got that fun turquoise and all that. And then I did buy two of these on purpose, because like I said, I do like to mix nails. But these look, look so pretty, with the pink and the black and the gold. These are when I have all those fucking weddings in the fall. You know, that's good nails to on for wedding nails. And then some more like pink and yellow and blue. Okay. So those are the nails from that one. And there's two pieces of makeup in this one. Alright. This was funny. Alright, this one is called that. It's that H one. The H A N D A Y A N. That one right there. That's the, that's the name. Um, glitter primer. NYX glitter primer. This came out the exact same color as this. I. I tried it on its own it worked just like this I mean not that the NYX is expensive I don't even know what the hell this costs now four to eight dollars I'm gonna guess but this on there is probably what a dollar or two so again two glitter glues oh shit now this one's funny too I think it was this one yeah okay this is that no novo now, I've gotten a couple. Once you start buying like that, the one that starts with the H there, this Novo, it's like, oh, okay, I've bought them from that brand over here. You know, they've been pretty wild. So this is called the Phantom Eye Eyeliner Pencil. Okay, on the back there. Uh, is there anything else on here? And then it'll say, uh, then it has a sticker on the back that says Chameleon Highlighter Gel Pen. But then when I pulled it out of the box, right here, it says <laughs> eyeliner glue pen. I went, okay, we have like three different descriptions and I hadn't even opened it yet. I go, what the fuck did I buy now? Because I was thinking, did I buy like the, the, the liner for like the magnetic lashes? Oh no. It's a duo chrome liner. <laughs> It's actually, it's it goes on translucent, and then it has, is it duochrome? I think it goes purple, yeah. It flips blue, definitely blue to pink. I don't mind like blue. But it, it starts out white. So you could put, again, a base on it, yeah, because if I look at it this way, it's pink. If I flip my hand, it's blue. So it's, it, and it's translucent to boot. Which I like. But I was cracking up going, okay, a fucking eyeliner glue pen. What? I don't know if this has a specific shade. It says color 13 something. Because there was probably a bunch of them. Or color number three. Color number three. Yeah, so that looks like that. <laughs> Looking random, but love it. Love it. Singles never come out of the collection. There's plenty of brands that sell just singles. And you make your own. But that's what I loved about Z-Palettes in the beginning. Of I could just buy the shades I want and didn't have to buy shades I'm never going to fucking use. Betty's already got her PJs on, the TV on. 
drink on. Just need some ice cream. There you go. I, I, I like singles, especially, you know, of that's why I have even my singles here. No, I can get to them. Uh, especially shades that I know I'm going to use a lot or I, that I like a lot. So, you know, I have specific blues I'm always looking for. Got more blues and kind of purple action going over here. This is a blush from Gimme Glow. But it's in my mauve section. And this is literally called Marvelous. <laughs> so I'll show you Marvelous next to... Lilac and around. You can see that they are different. <laughs> yes, this has more purple in it. But that's where I could take this out of here and just, you know, free up a little space over here and put it over here <laughs> and move stuff around. So there could be shadows literally in any of these that I have that I use from Clarity. There probably is. Because I've been using them for years. Because <laughs> then singles, like I said, as long, and that's why I like a Z palette that I can see through. Because then I go, oh, I'm looking for that shade today. So you can remember I have that thing called that aphantasia where I can't see shit in my mind and go, what exact colors are in that palette? And I can't bring the palette up in my mind or in front of me, however you guys do all that shit. Like a flashback and go, oh, it's this color, this color, this color. That's why I have to need to see things. <laughs> Plus, I'm old. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of Walmart. Yep, definitely a little bit of Walmart. Uh, that's Macy's. This is Macy's. Okay. Macy's, I had uh, $30 in Macy's money to spend, so that's why I did a little Macy's order. Macy's order, they say it's new. I got to find my other damn Dior, but I don't think I have this shade. Uh, Dior Show, On Stage Crayon, Waterproof, Cole Eyeliner Pencil in, uh, 254 Blue, looks like this, has a smudgy on the other side, yeah, sharpen it, look at this, kind of a mid-tone blue, you know I me, mean? I kind of want a little brighter, but pretty. But, I, you know, this $30 fucking dollar eyeliner. $30, $32, something like that. I don't fucking know. And it does come with a sharpener. All right, I got those NYX Jumbo things. NYX Jumbo Multi-Use Face Sticks. And once you ripped off the fucking tag, which is up here to open it, the name's at the bottom, so I had to rip the fucking tag off and stick it down here. So I picked up Coconut Cake. You know I was going to get the damn pink one. Uh, blueberry Muffin. Isn't that the name of Gimme Glow's new palette? So, alright, the purpley one here, the Blueberry Muffin, is this. And this basically has a translucent base, too, I believe. If I just do one... Swipe next to it there. It seems more translucent when I... Oh, maybe the pink didn't do it. Maybe the, the coconut fucking one did. So these you can use lips, eyes, cheeks. Wherever the hell you want to use it. So those are the two I grabbed. That. And Hard Candy had the... Insta Pout Lip Melt softens and plumps lips. Creamy color, soft shine. I've never seen these in there before, so I picked up Meat Cute and My Type. I don't, I guess the color's kind of on the side of the box here. Kind of like that. So kind of a peachy and kind of a pink, obviously. Looks like lipstick packaging. Now the, it's just pink and uh, this is meet cute now these are those slim line and you can hear the tick this is one where you're barely gonna want to bring this up here <laughs> Let me try to get 
this off. As soon as this touches your lips, which, you know, have a little warmth to them, it just melts right on. So you're going to want to be careful with that. Because you can't bring it backwards. So this is meat cute. I just have the, I'm talking the tiniest damn bit of on here. This more than anything? Maybe a little sweet. I don't even know if this will swatch on my hand or my arm. A little bit. So the meat cute's definitely more on the pink. And then my type. It does have a little bit of something a little deeper. Uh like pepperminty. It's not burning your lips off like you know, too faced. But cute. That yeah. Walmart. Alright. I'm sure it probably says on the bottom what these are, but I need to Instapout lip melts. Uh I think the yeah, uh, this is Macy's. I know it's Macy's. Uh the coffee bronzer and mocha from Winky Lux. Again, they have very reflective packaging. And it's this is possibly my hand is black over here. Still on sale in the sale section. It was like 10 bucks or something. I, I finally stopped looking for their palettes because I go, if I stop looking for them, then I can find the palettes. I'll show you the Winky Looks eyeshadow palettes. You can just go online and even see the palettes. Like I said, they're more on the neutral side. Gina is 99% sure I didn't give them to her, so I was like, I don't know what I do with them if I can't find them. <laughs> I will buy them again. But they have a nice shadow formula, too. <sighs> My hand is just so many different colors still. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what's happening. It's going to be a nervous breakdown kind of night. The only thing I have in this foundation, and it's by Stellar. Probably the last time I'm going to use it. So, I know it's old. It's time for it to go into the empties bin. So my fingertips are just... And st I don't even know. I don't even think this brand's around anymore. Possibly. Stellar. They made nice products, too. They were sold at Sephora. You're not going to see this on my skin tone. I can barely see it on my... It's, it's underneath that swatch there. <laughs> it's there. This is a lighter shade, though. I don't know if it's going to be darker or lighter. All right, now wait a minute. This, this... Those are from HS. <laughs> Just trying not to mix up my stuff here so I can make sure what's what. goes with this. That was a set. That was a set. Okay, I'm thinking I got this from Macy's. Because I got the winky looks. Okay, yeah, I must have got this at Macy's. Pretty damn sure I got it at Macy's. Ah, I picked up another Mac palette. Like I said, I had $30 and money to use so i want to use it uh this is the connecting color eyeshadow palette in curated or it says six artist curated rosy tones oh rose lens and that's the box it does have beautiful packaging right here don't forget they sell these at um ulta use your ulta points or you do like me and use your Macy's money. At $30 in Macy's money, it's basically this palette was free. The $30 palette. These three here. Try to skip over that bronzer shade. Okay, there's the first three right here. This is pretty. 
pink. G, more pink. Two, oh, what am I doing? Just a really pretty little palette. I like that one. All right. So that was the Macy's, the Winky Lux, the Mac. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of this is HSM. And again, it was like duos, you know, kind of deal. All right. So that, that, and that go together. And this and this will go together. Seems like I bought one other thing. I don't know what the hell it is. Might have been something for the house. I don't know. <laughs> I had no intention of picking one of these up. But then it was a set. And then the set was cheaper than buying them individually. It was way cheaper. Because I caught them on sale. So it was like either $29 or $39 for both. It was cheap. Uh, the benefit. This is the Hula Beach Vacay. One of these things that... Because I need more Hula in my life. But I didn't have this new shade, Shelly. So if worse comes to worse... Where did I put them? Got some team you in the way. I have the other ones that I bought at um, Ulta during the sale when they had the new. So this is like the shade Willa. Now the only thing is, I think these are how many grams are in this? This has six, and I think these only have two and a half each. If I'm right, yes. So this has two and a half and two and a half. And the bigger one has six, like I said. Yeah. But I could depot those three if I wanted to, along with the other one. And put them all just in one little palette. But that came with this, which is the Beach Vacay Butter Bomb and Vacay Coral. So this was a set. It was a great deal. I'll give me some HSN and QVC. That's kind of a squeezy. How many lip products can I put on? Can I? That smells good. Doesn't smell like suntan lotion or anything like that. Doesn't really smell like much. Yeah, so I really had no intention of buying the little blush. But, and plus, <laughs> I know why I bought it. Because <laughs> the benefit, HSN was um like 12% back. So I said, oh God, I'm getting this close to 100 bucks. Just because I, you know, why not? <laughs> I want to make some money back. So then the other set I bought is the lip injection. Well, it cam comes with the lip injection. There was different sets, again. Post-op pink. So now I have four of these. Of these liners. Here's the other three. One, two, three. Okay. So now I have, now I have four out of the six. <laughs> so this one here is the new one. So this is called post-op pink. And then it comes with Cocoa Bold Chocolate Strawberry Cream Lipstick. I already know this lipstick is going to make me look like death, but it does smell like chocolate strawberries. It does smell really damn good. <laughs> it does have Too Faced Embossed on the back. Uh, I can move this one right here. Isn't it? Yeah, that's like you could just see. That's like concealer on me. I wouldn't wear it out of the house, but I'd wear it around the house. <laughs> I didn't even click up the little pencil yet. So there's the lippy, and then there is the liner. So it's definitely a nude liner. Yeah. But I love these liners. You've seen me, I'll just put any damn color over the top. So again, this was like a hell of a deal, because, I mean, the lipstick alone is probably close to 30. And these are, what, 20-something, so, yeah. That's where I just, you know, me by the little sets going, I don't give a shit if I'm going to wear the color or not. I know I like these lip liners, so I have four of the six. And a lipstick that I can use as, you know, whatever. I can do something with it eventually. I'm getting all, getting all goopy. <sighs> How many damn lip products I have on? All right, I need a cigarette. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Now we gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna put on my eyes and cheeks. <laughs> I think that was all of it, yeah. That was a lot. <laughs> that took me an hour just to get through all that. I think Laura bought two magnetic palettes. She doesn't even know why. She only has like three singles. <laughs> just in case, exactly. Just in case. One of them, yeah, that was a totally boring palette. <laughs> Oh, I love my wet and wild. Good old brulee. I mean, I've gone through how many of these? And I even have the backup right next to it. Oh, he's waiting. <laughs> have you ever tried the the brulee from Wet and Wild? I mean, it's like 99 cents. It's pretty light. When it doesn't have smoke coming in front of it. You see me use this all the time. It's for me. It's just enough. Because sometimes if it goes too light, then it looks like you have like you know white on your eyebrow. Oh my god! Yeah, and those single samples from Natasha Denona. I have a bunch of those. They're still like even on the little cardboard thing, and I just chucked them in the drawer. I was saying I don't resell stuff. That's why. Yeah, I would never sell my stuff. <laughs> what is the discontinue? That Mariposa was on something. I have the blush palette right here. It's fucking pigmented as fuck. Her shadows are so over the place. Yeah, see, look, Rosie does the same thing. Yeah, she uses a wet and wild single shade as a brow bone. Yeah, it's like a buck. These didn't fray, luckily. Like I said, I haven't bought from Sheen or Shine, whatever the hell you call it. Oh, Marsha, I have the latest Scooby-Doo for, for sale. <laughs> I had somebody try to get me to hold it. Nope, it's not sold out yet, but close, and they will not restock that one. I'm keeping one. <laughs> oh, I wash everything, too. Yeah, she even Laura washed her Team U organizers. I was a bad girl not washing this first, but I'm like, eh, my forehead. Uh. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to use the stuff, yeah, sell it. Definitely, why not? Yeah, it's Wet and Wild Brulee is the one I use all the time. Walmart, CVS, wherever they sell Wet and Wild. CVS, it's on the side. They'll have, like, some singles. It's always there. Dollar Tree, yeah, somebody's got them. Exactly, Alexandra. I'm taking. She's taking the Wet and Wild palettes with me to the beach, so if they break, I won't cry. That's what I've always said when I'm vacation. I'm not taking like Gucci with me and Victoria Beckham. No, I'm taking like you said, Wet and Wild, L.A. Girl stuff that if it broke or it got lost, I wouldn't freak the fuck out. Like I ain't taking a busy art palette with me. You know what I mean? Try the creme brulee for a buck. Yeah, Rosie said that's the one. That's like old school. I've been using, that's why I've gone. That's the only thing I've panned multiple times. Yeah, that Chucky palette, that wasn't for me either. That glam light. <laughs> She's going to take about 10 palettes to the company party at the lake. You got to have options, though. You got to have those options. I think I've owned uh, one Glam Light palette. It was like a pizza or something. Uh, the Hello Kitty blush is from Mac Andy. It's a uh, sweet girl silky blusher on the side. But you, you'll find it on Team You by like, you know, the little kitty. It's kind of like this one here. That's why I bought it. I, this, this one's by the brand CDE. Where this one has like, where it looks like Cleopatra. Who the fuck it is? <laughs> Reminds me of like Cleopatra or some shit. Not Cleopatra. Um, whatever. Yeah, a little kitty. 
Hello, Kitty. Hello, Kitty. I'm not even, I'm not taking a vacation. At least of my worries. I like staying home. Greg's actually on a boys weekend. Him and three of his buddies are right now sitting over at, they're in New York, on Lake Ontario, and they are going fishing tomorrow. And luckily in the lake, there are salmon. So the hubby is on, you know, uh, go get wifey some salmon. I don't care if you have to bring the whole fucking fish home. If they fillet it for you there, Fillet those bitches. If there's no count, get me what you can. He has coolers. He has ice. He has all that. Because I'm like, I eat salmon, like I said, four to five times a week. And it's not a lot. You know, a little four ounce, six ounce piece. But still. I'm like, uh, I can freeze it. Just get that shit home to me. But bring mama home some fucking salmon, baby. <laughs> they, whatever the fuck else is in there swimming around. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, Patty, you'll be okay, darling. Selling, hey, you can sell them or give them away. I took a lot of make. I took a lot of makeup last time, and not a ring light to take pictures. Not one picture taken with makeup or the light. <laughs> yeah, if I'm going to the beach, which I'm never stepping foot on a beach again with all the me, I'm just so freaked out by fucking skin cancer now. Even though I already know I'm doomed down the line, I just know I'm fucking doomed down the line. I'm like, not adding to it. And luckily, I've traveled immensely my entire life. So if I never left my fucking yard again, I'm cool with that. Luckily, I love my house and my yard. <laughs> but Greg, I send him off. Go have a boys weekend. Fuck yeah. Go fishing. Oh, MRI. I love an MRI. Am I the only person that likes an MRI? That's okay. You go get drunk with those people on the boat. Just don't fall off the boat. No falling off the boat. Oh, I do too, Marsh. I have so many lawn comb five pans. Barely touched. No problem, Miss Caitlin. She's sitting outside enjoying the show. Yeah, people fall off boats all the fucking time. Off cruise ships, which I'll never step foot on a cruise ship either. Never have, never will. Even buddy's like, gotta have choices. You gotta have like three palettes, two blushes, three lipsticks, 15 brushes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Marsha Z palette. Well, there's not, you don't have to buy Z palette. There's all kinds of empty magnetic palettes. Z palette remind you of what wild? Like I said, I have to visually see. <laughs> Hello, Paul. What's up? I'm going to throw some makeup on my face here. I don't know what yet. <laughs> All kinds of fucking shit here. The makeup bag's almost as big as the weekender bag. <laughs> I think we all overpack. Like I said, I'd be going to the makeup show and taking a massive amount of makeup and going, Brenda, what are you doing? You, you don't need all this shit. They're like, what are you, you're going to buy 10 tons more. But then in my head, I'm going, well, see, I can't touch it because I need to photograph it. <laughs> be doing Instagram and all that back then. Oh, that's true, Marsha. Yeah, part of the reason people buy Charlotte Tilbury is for the compact. Same with Dior, Lancome. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, free party. Here you go. Even the gas in her drive back at nice. I got some more hard candy stuff upstairs, too. I'll take the lip thingies, the glasses. I don't know if they launched yet. I think they showed them on their Instagram. I think it's called lip oil. Something, but it's supposed to like heal your lips or something. I don't know. I guess they'll take pictures. They sent me like six or seven of them. I don't know. 
I haven't been on Ulta all week. I clicked every email and went, yeah, just like check the box and oh, yep, is it, you know, I always just make sure everything's like activated. That's my Sunday thing. And now that I have no hubby to deal with in the morning and all that, tomorrow I'll just be coffee. Watch it. I might watch Tar tonight. <laughs> no, he's not here. Like I said, he hates when I watch YouTube on the TV in the bedroom. So he's gone. He's out having fun. And we got to watch those old orders. Yeah, I got like a, me and Greg got three dates. We have a date in August right after our anniversary. So it's our anniversary outing. Going to that. I don't know if it showed up in anybody's Facebook feed. Um, by National Geographic, the ultimate, maybe King Tut experience. I think I told you good ladies about it, where it's going to be like virtual reality doing that. Then we have the wedding in September, which probably the fucking hoe down at the barn. I don't fucking know. Luckily at that one, I might know people. And then he lays on me the other night that, oh, we have a wedding in October. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, Mitch, Mitch and I think her name is Marcy. I've never met these people, but Greg works with the one guy, Mitch. And I go, wait a minute. They just got fucking engaged. Literally like a couple months ago from what we knew. I'm like, I bet she's knocked up. Why the fuck are you having a fucking wedding? No, because these people are young. Like she's 20 something. She's actually very ambitious. She's going to be a nurse. They're both in the military. You know, and plus he works with Greg's company, doing all the electrical lines, all that crazy shit. So they're both very hard workers. And he, I go, I, I go, no, it's October next year. And he's like, no, babe, I haven't checked with him to go, dude, it's next year. And they're like, no, Greg, it's this year. So Greg's on his phone, of course, trying to log in and do this thing. He couldn't do it. So he's like, what do you want to eat? I'm like, well, just whatever. He's like, short ribs, chicken. I go, just. Just give me the chicken. You get something else and then we can always, you know, just, you know, share. And again, this wedding is like on the other side of the fucking state because they're kind of like Rhode Island, I think is where he technically lives. I'm sure they don't watch me, so I'm not worried about like busting them out or anything. So Greg, he's like me. He'll blatantly ask you, are you fucking knocked up? This is why you're getting married so quick. And it was like, uh, well, no, actually, we're already married. What? They got married a couple months ago or last month or some shit. And she's already being in the military. A lot of times she'll have her mail, like certain things sent to her parents' house. Just in case she gets, you know, where they have to go deploy or something. So she's been changing her name on stuff to her new legal married name. I guess she hasn't told the parents. I'm like, are they going to know before we actually go to this now fake wedding? Because so, basically now it's a party if you're already married. But I think she's going to have to break it to the parents before October. Because if she starts getting mail, they're going to go like, why is her name different? Why does she have Mitch's last name? So interesting. I'm like, oh my God, Greg, we have three dates in a row. <laughs> like August, September, August, September, and October. I'm like, I won't need to see you all winter. Because you know me, I usually sh ship them off to um, snowmobiling anyway. It's so nice of your company. Oh, Bunny, she loves Winky Lux. Anything with a cute cat. And they do. They make really nice makeup. Ah, uh, the hard candy melt. I think I put on the lighter one. Meet Cute. M-E-E-T-C-U-T-E. -E -E. Yeah, this one. But it's literally like, so now it's flat. But you can just hear those tiny little... Any little clicks. And it's one of those, like, just hit your... And it's not sticky, not gummy. It's nice. Even their lip oils are good, too. <laughs> what a good boss. It's nice when you can actually get along with the boss, have a good time. Okay, that's probably what they sent me. Yeah, it kind of has a, um, if the tube kind of looks, somebody said rare beauty, it, it does kind of look like this, but it's not flat. It's completely like this. It's completely like a ball on top. 
it's not flattened out like the well this isn't even rare beauty <laughs> this is uh, team you but you know what i mean this ball is totally one ball like I said, I those came in yesterday. So all of a sudden I see UPS pulling up. I'm like, I don't have anything coming yet. What the fuck is this? I see this little, he has a tiny box in his hand. And he's like, oh, can you sign? I'm like, I got these fucking claws on. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I you know, half ass scribbled across the thing. Oh, couture. He's like, okay. I'm like, bring me goodies. I was like, oh, my God, hard candy. I was like, cool. And yeah, they're a bunch of lip oils. Oh, good girl. She won't get in the water. I won't go in lake water either. I only go in the ocean. And even in the ocean, unless I'm on an island, I won't go in the water. I wouldn't even go in the water down here in Connecticut. Fuck no. It's gross. Marsha's been trying to buy the new Essence All Shimmer Palette daily since it launched. The web person is a joke. It should have said coming soon or yellow not available. <laughs> Huh? Oh, yeah, she's vaccinated. Well, I'll be getting that new one. Yay, Patty just got her busy art batch on Facebook. Woohoo! <laughs> there you go, Caitlin. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, when I pay for these, fuck, of course, I didn't bring the receipt with me. You know, hard candies, like four bucks, maybe five. I was just like, oh, and there was more than the two shades. Yeah, there was probably four to six. And I was just like, you know, me running by because I was grabbing all my fucking dog food and all that crap or whatever the hell I was buying. Cat litter. Yeah, I think we're getting another vaccine in the fall. Yeah, the, the liners, yeah. No lip liner comes with a lot of product, which sucks. Yeah, and most of them have 0 0.01 ounces, which is disturbing. Or net weight, 0.38 grams. And that's most liners. Probably because they're so fucking slim. But I, they, they do give you that burn, and that burn even from that lip liner lasts a while. Teresa's looking forward to the Too Faced Cosmos pie. I seen, what did I see talking about that? What did I see Teresa talking about it? And all I was seeing was this photos that were probably on um, like Instagram or some shit. I need to see it again in a better photo. Yeah, we're all, we're all the vaccinated crew on here. Oh, good night, Miss Linda. Mwah. Happy Self Love Sunday tomorrow. I hope I didn't miss her. Oh, well. I'm not too far off. Who's the Andy Blue? Two Faced has a palette name Cosmos. Yeah, I they you notice how the theme of yeah, there's a Two Faced is it Cosmos? Cosmic, something like that. Yeah, because I just got the Cosmos palette from my BH. It's the ones blue. You're going to make me open the fucking garage, aren't you? She's like, yeah, I am going to make you open that fucking garage. It's the um, cardboard packaging palettes where it's like the big shadow, then a little shadow, and like the born this way stripped. And that formula is usually pretty good. People don't like the cardboard packaging. Paul's vaping with me. I'll grab mine. Oh, remember that cigarette thing I bought from, uh, I should have brought it downstairs, shit, from Team U, and I could not get a cigarette into the end of it. You know what fits in there? I brought pre-rolls from the smoke shop, you know, my pot shop, and the joint fits right in there. So I could sit there with it and extend it out. <laughs> it's funny as hell. Ah, ah, blue. Ooh, Marsha's like the new tart man eater. It's smaller than the big one last fall, but awesome pigment. Oh god, it's one of the, yeah, because they even the other man eater. Is it behind here? Nope, I must have put it back with tart. Because I know I had it over by Norvina. That's why I thought I had it behind the Danessa Myricks. And you don't want to find out what's in the lake, yeah, me either. 
Yes, I have no ambition to ever go to the beach again. Patty, you have to be knocked out for an MRI? Oh, that sucks, darling. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I don't even need the music. Because I always just bring my own CD. Because they'll let you rock out music. I don't think an MRI freaks me out because tanning beds for how many years? With the fucking tanning bed this close to my face. So I could take the MRI tube this close. I just, whatever position, because I've had them for my shoulders, my back. So whatever position they stick me in, I, I turn into a fucking statue. I don't fucking move. And then they're always asking, which is, and I tell them, don't fucking keep asking me if I'm fine. I'm fine. I will, I have no problem in this fucking tube. Just shut up and do your thing. And, you know, because I'll give them whatever I bring in music-wise. Are you okay? Yes. Stop asking me. Then I'll be like, okay, here's the other one. This is going to be, you know, three minutes of... And I do, I come out of there just like, ah, fucking totally magnetized, like ready to go. I, I could fall asleep if you let me in a fucking MRI. If they left me in there long enough, if I had to have a long enough one, I could pass right the fuck out and sleep. Because the headphones, it knocks out some of it, but I just, blue, you are killing me. I do, I love an MRI. <laughs> And then I always ask for my own CD. So sometimes they'll just, they just burn you a CD after. Like, oh, every, if I go get an x-ray or whatever, I'm like, a uh, copy of that. Or they either shoot me out two of the actual, I have like actual x-rays too. <laughs> like I was trying to make my body on the wall. Of, yeah, you know, I've had toes, head, you know, all kinds of shit. Fucking scanned my entire head for my mouth. <laughs> Got my own little body going on the wall. You can play fucking darts at me. Yeah, Mona definitely has all kinds of brushes. I have a discount below too, don't forget. Oh, you're claustrophobic, Patty. That sucks. Oh, they have to put a cage over here. Blue, you're just really going to town that fucking light. You're trying to kill me over here. Y'all don't own fucking brulee from Wet n Wild. Are you shitting me? <laughs> this is probably <laughs> the pro bone shade I've used in 98% of every fucking video for the past decade that I've been doing this. Oh, Miss Sarah's doing, I don't know if she's Miss Sarah home yet. She keeps sending me reels or something. I keep seeing coming across the TV. Fucking brulee is just like my matte go-to shade. Oh, I don't look blonde on here, honey. There's that. There's the hubs. No, I'm still blonde, honey. It just depends on the lights. It does look more, like I said, once you pull this back, it looks dark. <laughs> I wish it all came out that dark. I'm still blonde. I did this after he left this morning. Oh, no crying. Go get my, go get my salmon. Oh, I agree, Marsha. With the ships. Anybody saying hi to my honey? Well, it's a, it, 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 Teresa, they have hoedowns downs in Connecticut. <laughs> the wedding place, like I said, it has a barn. They hold like a hundred people or the mansion, which just looks like a fucking house. And that has 300 people. This is a younger couple. I, a hundred people is plenty for any wedding. 300 people is just ridiculous. Yeah, Laura, so it's sad about the submersible that imploded. The only thing I hope on that is when they lost contact, but I mean, there's so much coming out that this thing seemed to lose contact all the time. They were an hour and a half in. They were just about there. If it imploded, they went instantly. Just instant. The worst one I feel worse, I mean, the other guys, fucking billionaires, a 19-year-old kid, that sucks. It sucks. His mom, all that, you know. But he died with his dad. But again, and I was kind of shocked, though, because I immediately went, who's paying for this? I said, well, thinking to myself, well, you got a bunch of fucking billionaires. They could pay Canada, France, and us, the U.S., for sending all these ROVs and the ships out and all this to rescue you motherfuckers. Like, have the companies... Hey, these are billionaires. They have plenty of fucking money where they could pay us back. 
I've read like a couple articles now because I'm like, really? Are you shitting me? And I still don't believe it. According to our Navy and all this of save me and all you are out on a boat and the fucking thing's going down and they save us. You supposedly don't get a bill as a regular citizen. I'm like, really? I'll believe it when I see it. But I'm like, okay, but here you finally got a company that could pay you because that's money out of all three countries' pockets. And these companies send those ROVs down. Pay them. <laughs> and it was like, nope, it's free. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, totally tragic. <laughs> I know if you said we're having a hold out in Tennessee, that'd be normal. Okay. Um, I say normally I just bake it. 20 minutes on like 400. Good to go. I keep it simple. Because <laughs> all I'm really doing is making a lot of times is that salmon rice bowl. Salmon, sticky rice, my kimchi. Uh, then there's always my cucumbers. Today I had in uh, bean sprouts, shredded carrots, and some other kind of sprouts, whatever the hell they were. And I just kind of mix those three together with the sriracha, the QP mayonnaise, and some soy sauce, and put them in the little nori wraps, and good to go. My new favorite, like comfort food. Hey, Laura, I can't believe they paid two fifty a piece. Yeah. Hey, they signed off on that shit, too. And they, they signed off on the paperwork like, you can motherfucking die. Because I, hey, you got to sign off on shit like that. Yeah, Patty feels bad for the boy, too. And somebody, yeah, said he was already scared about possibly going. The poor kid. Good night, Miss Pam. Winky Looks does have nice mascaras. Absolutely. Oop, Patty's debating on a color pop mystery box. Yeah, Alexandria got her dep palettes in. I think mine came pretty quick too. I see. I'd be the one person who can get a color pop mystery box and not own a damn thing out of it. And you know, actually, no, I have what a couple eyeliners and like a lip liner. My look, I would get doubles. Marcia's gonna try to. I don't think the Cosmos um is releasing yet. I think it was like the palette, and then it looked like, um, of course, they threw in a, a lip injection, and then it would look like two highlighters, possibly a gold, and, you know, the pictures are online. Could have been a bronze, could have been a deep pink, like, I wasn't even sure. Oh, it's already up on the website. Oh, poor Marsha had to replace her dishwasher today. That is a pain in the ass. Because everybody, that, and that's where you see all, everybody ends up with the Pride Collection. Now everything's going to be the fucking Cosmos in the middle of summer. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Marsha gets an MRI that are a sit-down kind. I've had uh, one of those where it scanned my head. I think they were taking all my teeth or some shit. Who knows what the fuck we were doing. I've been all kinds of them. Brenda, if you ever have a palette, one color should be called MRI. MRI lover. <laughs> Narita, how are you, darling? Ooh, Alexander, she likes it. Right. Yeah, x-rays, bring it on. Oh. Yeah, lay, see, I lay on my back sucks, but they should put the pillow under your knees. Because that always helps. When they put, like, you know, the little wedge. They've always made me comfortable as hell. That's why I'm like, fuck, leave me alone. I'll fucking go. I'll take a fucking nap while I'm here. Nope, Bunny wants the open MRI. <laughs> <laughs> nope, Marcia's Cairo said no one lies down all their life. That's why I sit down as a better MRI. 
you actually got to, this pissed me off. My guy, I'm supposed to see him on the 11th for my ortho, and I want that fucking part of my back. Like I said, that just that one piece of the muscle that's about this big. I'm fucking playing one of my games on the fucking phone. I see some random phone number come up. I'm like, I ain't fucking answering it. And I actually left a message. I'm like, oh, it's going to be spam. Fucking open the message. It's my fucking, th oh, and it was an automated thing going, oh, we need to cancel your appointment, so call this number. Okay, so I immediately just called the number right back. Ring, ring, ring. Okay, appointments, yeah, press one. Dun, dun, dun. Office is closed. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm going to have to call these dipshits on Monday and be like, first off, he needs to call in my medical marijuana card immediately because that's when it's up is on the 11th. I was just there and just picked up some stuff. But I want to still keep that because if not that we need it in Connecticut, but it's I pay the state a hundred bucks for that license, and it saves me at the pot shop. My prices are eight to ten dollars cheaper than if I just went in as a regular consumer to purchase. So I'll take that savings and pay the hundred bucks. I don't give a shit. But I'm like he's gonna and he will do that immediately. He's even been like Brendan, you don't have to make an appointment to see me to get that. But I, I'm like, I really have a fucking issue now that I want him to see. And then he want to change my fucking appointment. Like, Son of a bitch. Hey, try those codes on Mystery Box. Always try a code. Every fucking side I try a code. And me too, bunny, with the creme brulee. Yeah. I've been using it for years because it is just a quick, perfect brow bone shade or to just buff out the edge of something. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've been using brulee forever. Because at one point, I thought they were possibly getting rid of it because they changed the packaging. This is probably the older one. And see, yeah, this says new. So this is the older style. We have the swirl in it. Because here it's 251. Yeah, 251B is the original brulee. And now their brulee is 348A, but it's still the same shade. Yep, Angie has codes. There's even always try like Teresa's codes, garbage. And... Oh, Sephora is offering four times points on all purchases and five times points on Sephora brand through the 28th. Thank you, Miss Teresa. Oh. Laura tried a couple codes that didn't work. She bought it anyway. Oh boy. Oh, that's wild, Marsha. They took the scan the entire spine sitting down. That's how they sell the vertebra. Yeah. <laughs> Patty, I'll be buying two once I find my password. Ah, oh, good one, Paul. Yeah, you got to get those staples in a collection. Not every palette has like a good brow bone shade. I always reach for that. That's why I keep it right next to me. Cashing in your points has nothing to do with your status, Marsha. It's just how much money you spend. As long as you spend the 1200 bucks, you're fucking whatever. Fucking Rouge Deluxe. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, I have, I, I'm sitting around 2000 points all the time because I really just spend them. But if I do, it's the 100 pointers. I've never, I think I've done what, maybe a 500 pointer one time, but all the other shit that's like, sometimes you'll get some good ones where it'd be like 750 points or a thousand points, they're gone. So it's like, eh. And even on Ulta, I'm so close to that and Sephora for the year, I'm like, God, I got ahead because I bought like the extra perfume, the Kiali, so that put me up a little more because usually I almost do like a little over a hundred a month. That's what it keeps me for the year. <laughs> so I'm way ahead. Now I'm pretty sure they're the same, Paul. I actually, at that point, didn't have a fucking chance. It was what they had. <laughs> oh, yep. That, uh, Heather Austin, she has codes too. It's probably just what, Heather? Exactly. You get a, do a dupe, you just donate it. Marsha, mine keeps rolling over because I never used the ten dollars off. Um, I might have used the ten dollars off. That's possible. Because even right now, at did I use the Sephora one? 
I think I have a little time on that one. I think I have 30 bucks sitting at Sephora too. <laughs> but I think that one's up in August. So that's why I was like, oh, I have time with that. Let's slap some makeup on my face. Okay, now what the hell is this? Let's, well, we got a little bronzer here. Let's try it. The Team U bronzer. Why not? Obviously, we're not doing the forehead. I gotta put some kind of fucking makeup on sitting here. Ooh, where's my cap? If it comes with a cap, I try to keep the cap. Years ago, I'd be like, fuck the cap and chuck it, and then it would all dry out quickly. I am being a bad girl and using the brush I used the other day. Oh my God. I might not do that. That Winky Lux bronzer was fucking awesome, though. Well, that blended right out. <laughs> oh, shit. Paul, how's the new job? I just want to probably build it up too, right? Eh? Don't think I'm going anywhere. That's actually a really good bronzer. <laughs> Fuck. Slightest bit of tackiness to it. I'll give it a second and see if that goes down. Because then I'll put the fucking powder on over the top. Because I remember I was doing like a full face of Timu and I really shit, I didn't buy any bronzer. <laughs> so that's where I did like, you know, a tiny little order to go, well, let me just try the bronzer. Yeah, these big nails make shit a problem to open. Indy Blue, you're going to terrorize me, aren't you? Do I want to let you in there? <laughs> no, I could wash the car on Tuesday. It definitely picks up on the brush. Okay, and it definitely could pop it off. All right. oh, this smells exactly like baby powder. It smells really good. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing in the beauty community. <laughs> Ingredients. Mica, kaolin, dimethicone, talc, magnesium stearate, Polyethylene, okay, silica. Keep out of reach of children. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> oh, it does. It smells really good. I like that smell. <laughs> oh, I didn't wait. Really check a bit. Oh, well, it's dried down now because I just put a powder on the top. <laughs> That's a good bronzer shade, though, too. Fuck. That's a good little combo. TNT amazing. Again, I, I just look for shit by what the packaging looks like. Because that's how you can kind of find it in here. You know, we got to play with these. And put some hula blush on. Because why the fuck not? Let's try out Shelly. How many other blushes? No. No. I... I uh, yeah, I'm not, because I just know this makes me look like I got punched in the face. I'll tell you what, put that on. <laughs> I've already put it on. I know it looks like I got punched in the face. I don't feel I need to prove that. <laughs> I'm just using Shelly on the same brush. Let's watch Shelly here. <laughs> Shelly is pretty fucking light. Shelly's really light. And I've already taken off the whole name of Shelly. Can I see it? Oh, okay. Maybe I can. And it does have a little tiny mirror in it, too. I mean, she's light. And she's 
Yeah, I always want to wash in your face. Works for me. Works for me. All right, let's fuck with these. Uh, coconut cake. And these twist up. Oh, there's a product on here. Let's get the details on the next here. Oh, well, at least we have 18 month shelf life. Thank God. Uh, made in China. I don't care where it's made. I don't know how much product's in here. 2.7 grams or 0 0.09 ounces. And do we all ever go through any of these? No. I'll do the uh, coconut cake on this side. Oh, okay. All right. This is a little brush I got from Team U. This is like a dollar eighty or something or one of those. It's got this tiny little, and I did wash these, of course. Since it's so fun. Okay, fuck. I gotta wash my hand again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Please tell me this is still wet somewhere. My fingers are really just like fucking black. Usually the heat of your fingers works better with cream products. I've always said that. All right. Oh, she's stuck. <laughs> she don't want to move. Oh, shit. I cannot get this to move to blend out. Because now I literally just have a line on my face. It didn't, does it fucking dry down? Can't find the fuck out here. Both the swatches it picked up. What the hell? Oh my god. It's like I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown tonight. I'm just gonna put them on my finger at this point. That helped a little. <laughs> it's like I really bit the pretty much big ass line I just had drawn across my face. These, I do notice when you cap them, it has, uh, let's see right there, like the little. We'll hear it snap. Because you know it's closed. I'm trying this on my lid too. We're going to do this on the lid and the one from. Yeah. Novo. <laughs> do I need a base with this? No. Yeah, no. A little benefit your little mirrors coming in. Handy. Now, if that doesn't set, that's going to crease like a motherfucker. This one sets. Well, I know it set as a liner. I don't know if it's going to set as a... Now I'm going to literally use it as a shadow. I have no eye primer down. Nothing. Sometimes it's nice to go old school just to go, will this just work on its own? What if I don't have fucking eye primer with me and I reopened mine while I was on vacation and it was dead or something? I 
That's why even sometimes I'm testing mascaras. I go, not that I'm a person who does that anymore, but back in the day, you put a little mascara on, then you go to work, you have it with you, and it's like, girls' night, time to go out. You want to pack some more mascara on. Sometimes I'll wait hours and then just, oh, let me see if this will be able to rebuild if I wanted to. Okay, so we've got that on one side. It is very sparkly. But it does have the duochrome. And this is pink. <laughs> this is this right here. But it was translucent when I was fucking with it yesterday. It's a little bake, so. Now I'm putting this over here as highlight. I should have did it on the other side, huh? Matched. <laughs> yeah, it's translucent enough where it shouldn't throw any cast. Because it didn't throw a cast yesterday. I would just have to be careful with it. But it's glowing. And it's pretty. Gonna be the last one for these contacts. Well, that's that's really good. Marsha Marsha only spends about five hundred a year on Sephora. Now that's where sometimes I just have to get the stuff there. You know, that's where it's like, come on, go over to Ulta. <laughs> Not many products that I have to get just from Sephora anymore. Oh, exactly. Use those $10 offs, those $15 off coupons. Absolutely. I have the Sephora credit card. That's why I gain points, too. Oh, my God. These contacts are falling out of my face. It's an easy way to keep track of your Sephora purchases. <laughs> I've had that card for years. And sometimes they'll give you extra points just for using your card. And I have the Ulta credit card, too. <clears throat> yes, Paul's loving his new job. He's got a great manager. Get that promotion. You deserve it. Get it. Love that free shit. Free shit good. Free is fucking free. Exactly, 25% off on high end at Sephora. Even one time is better than Ulta sometimes. Absolutely. And that's even sometimes with the companies. That's why I said of, say it's like, oh, the 20% at <clears throat> for like Rouge or whatever. But sometimes say pharmacy, you know, at the cleansing bomb or something. They'll have 30% off. You know, so it's like, fuck it. it just, you know, get it there. And even... I'm trying to see, because I, I only usually use like that. I have the TJ Maxx credit card also, which you can use. I thought it was initially just TJ Maxx, Marshalls, whatever the fuck is on there. But you can use it anywhere. So I did one of my indie orders on it. I think I did that Lunar Beauty thing where I got that fucking, I got that coming too. That new collection. Because I was like, wait a minute. I think I can gain points because then you get $10 in rewards with the TJ Maxx credit card. I think it's for every 200 you spend, you get $10. So I put that order on there to go, let's see if I gain points from just any purchase, which I'm pretty sure I do, where then I'll get the reward certificate. Because even the kid's like, oh, you want to use any of your reward certificates? I said, fuck no, I use that online. I said, they sell the good shit online, me than like the Louboutin and all that. <laughs> and that's where I go, to me, I was spending the money anyway. And then I don't, I mean, it still sucks to pay $50 for a Louboutin lipstick, but I'm like, now they got a couple black ones on the site where the packaging's black. Because I only have the, um, the this comes with like, you know, the whole ribbon and all this shit. But these are gorgeous lipsticks and they are really nice quality. This is extremely heavy. Like I said, this is a fucking weapon. But now they got a couple with the black packaging and I'm like, I see an online order soon because I want the black packaging. I just have to take a better look at the, because then I'll, they, sometimes they'll tell you the shade on there. Thank God, because you can't go by their pictures at all. 
it tells me the shade, then I just punch in, you know, whatever shade, Christian Louboutin, and then I try to find that elsewhere to go, oh, yeah, I either want that shade or I don't. Because still even paying $50 for lipstick is absolutely fucking ridiculous. But what can you do? You know, it's just like it's free money. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. Did I see that back in the day? Yep. Her, his uh, goth friend in high school used to set her face with baby powder. Yeah, because they wanted that blank white. I haven't smelled a baby powder product like that in years. <laughs> it smelled actually good, though. Holy shit, Marsha. I, and I can see that being easy because they were at points launching not fucking stop. That's why I said, I'm glad I didn't really get into them. I could not keep up with them. There's no fucking way. I mean, some of the people, thank God they get them something PR because um, they can't even keep up. Yes, funny girl. Yeah, this is a dupe for like, I like I said, the It brush is definitely more dense. This has a much lighter texture to it. Very, I don't want to call it flimsy, but at least it's cut very well. <laughs> but watch Nadie's video. He got a big old thing of and I could have killed him. Whenever he took the brushes out and was just putting the brushes on his face, I was fucking screaming, going, what are you doing? No. And his ferals all fell off. Not all of them, but he was grabbing them. The ferals were falling off and he's just like me. I fucking glue it back on. I'm thinking, you would have already known this if you fucking washed them first. You would know if they're falling off. Yeah, double under brushes are kind of love them or hate them. I'm kind of in between because I do have like my Eve Pearl ones that I love that are dual ended. Storing them is a bitch because it's either you have to put one side of the brush down into whatever you're doing. If you store them this way, which then you're fucking up, you know, whichever end of the bristles, but then that you have to store them usually in a drawer sideways, which is again. Oh no, color pop won't send Patty your password. <laughs> Oh, Teresa, the Real Techniques brushes scratch her face. She likes them so much, but her skin's gotten more sensitive as you've aged. Oh, yeah, because I have a shitload of their brushes, too. Maybe go with them um, while you're at TJ Maxx. Try, like, the Japanesque brand that's very soft. The motor brushes are soft. Um, What's the other one there? Not Eco Green. You know what I'm talking about. Eco Tools. There are so many brush brands at TJ Maxx, and they actually have really good brush brands. I'm just like, thank God. <laughs> See, I have to keep those password books like right there in front, going, everything's got a different goddamn password. The one password not written down. Of course. A fucking of course. <laughs> Exactly, buddy. One time she had no makeup with her, just a mascara. Totally did a smoky eye with that mascara. Fuck yeah. The force was with her that day. Yeah, you can, like, lip liners, eyeliner. You know, you, can, you make shit work with what you got. Yeah, and that's, you know, with the hooded eyes and everybody, once you find your brushes, like I said, of, you're just like, damn. Like, once you kind of, like, Wayne Goss is, like, you know, downfall of. I love my Wayne. They're, they're just, they're beautiful brushes. They are. And I love Wayne. So it's like I'm always out to just like support that man. No matter what the fuck he puts out. The only thing I really keep in my bag would be lipsticks. Definitely a liner. Probably one black eyeliner of just in case. I used to carry around semi-full face of makeup. Now it's just like, give me some basics. Exactly. A powder foundation. And yeah, my bags are huge. Yeah, big old totes. Exactly. And that's people forget. You could just use concealer. If your skin's having a really good day, you just need to, you know, conceal a few spots. A little bit of concealer, blend it out, go.
funny you're probably like me where you're like cvs in your bag if you can follow. oh you need scissors <laughs> oh yeah i got a band-aid here somewhere hold on there's always definitely uh tooth flaws oh my god there's always something in there i got everything but i know the big bag is also when my back's all fucked up because every time they had the loved one to go to the doctor oh, we gotta weigh you well, we don't but okay I'll go, hold on, girl. I drop my bag on there first to weigh it just to see sometimes. I'm curious. And it's come up 10 pounds. I'm like, time to go home and empty it. And a lot of it is usually, somehow I try to always put the change right in the center. And it ends up everywhere. Fucking change. And then receipts. Change and fucking receipts everywhere. Yeah, who just got some double-ended brushes too that are nice. And that's what I would do back in my bag of, I would have, uh, at one point I would create different colored lipsticks. So I'd take our little Ipsy bags and be like, oh, these are the fuchsias and these are the berries and this is whatever at the time. So I can switch lipsticks throughout the day. I'm that crazy bitch has way too many lipsticks on her at a time. Oh, safety pins. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of shit in there. I'm sure I got a needle and thread in there too somewhere. One of those like emergency kits. <laughs> like I'm going to fucking sew something. God bless you, Patty. Patty stopped carrying a bag. I have a wristlet and a butter gloss in it. Because then I got the phone. I got the car fob. A fucking keys. Because I have like the one set of keys that more to go to work. Then I have another set of fucking keys with all the goddamn scanny fucking things. And that has another set of fucking keys on it. I have keys to my mother's house. Probably the keys weigh a lot, too. And I even have one of those little, like, um, like an organizer. I, I, I bought them on Amazon. It's like called a purse organizer. And you drop that in, then I put the wallet in the center of that. And then on the sides, there's, like, more pockets. Extra lighter. Fucking nail files. Nail glue. <laughs> That's where the dental floss. All that shit goes around the little pockets. Perfumes. Because that's where you, you, know, you throw in like your roller balls. Shit like that. Oh my God. Oh God. I need to update my will to ask to be buried in my makeup and my purse. <laughs> Make sure my purse matches my outfit in the, in the, in the casket. Greg better just cremate me and um, he can fill the casket with makeup. Be like, uh, take out the center and the pillows, all this shit. We're going to pack this bitch. <laughs> That's what I said too, Laura. You could throw makeup at the casket instead of flowers. Everybody throws a highlighter. Make that bitch glow and just throw all your used glitters on it because then we don't have to put it on our face. <laughs> Okay, Teresa, I'm about to tell me there used to be these metal cups that condensed down to look like a compact little metal cup. Yeah, it was metal. I think they even have um, rubberized ones like that now, believe it or not, where it's a collapsible cup. Yeah, and they have them for dogs, too. I know that. Patty, once I started working from home, the purse went, now it's grab and go. Well, because now I still, I still go to work, you know, the two days a week. But then I'm still like running out Walmart, the meat, you know, the meat market where I'm still always dragging shit around with me. Bunny's laughing her fucking balls off. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening here with these Nyx items. Okay, slightest bit of tact to that purpley one. Yeah, they both have a little... Oh, that's creased the fuck on the eyeball there. Right here. Maybe a little crease. And this is the one from Teemu, and they're, it's dried, <laughs> and it's fine. And this one, oh yeah. You can get the crease out. <laughs> That sucks that it's going to stay totally tacky. I thought it dried down yesterday. I was fucking wrong. 
Oh well. Well, they don't dry down. Good to know. So you're gonna have to set it with something else. This has to go in the be wash pile. All right, let's try the uh, I Really Lilac You. Hi, later. I'm gonna put that in my eyes too. I have one of my little Wayne Goss brushes out. Since that's wet and won't set, yeah, let's put that on. We'll try that on the inner part first. I mean, obviously you can find like a similar shade you know, purpley pink color to put over the top. The highlighter's beautiful. I'll take it on here. I don't want to open with the bloom palette because I had the little messed up one. And this is more purple. Fuck it. I'm gonna put the duo chrome. That new one over this over this side. Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay, this did pick up on a brush. I have a feeling this is gonna get since this one's dry. <laughs> There's that primer. That's the NYX. So this is like I said, the Team U one. I need to put this back. I mean, that's way too much, but it's still the same fucking consistency as the NYX. Give me, I'll even throw a tan. Hold on. All right, there's that one. This is NYX. Fucking same. <laughs> I'm gonna use theirs. This is why I'm not, oh, big glitter glue person. I always forget what side of the fucking brush I put it on. Dumbass. <laughs> Hey, at least I admit when I'm being a dipshit. <laughs> We're just having fun as usual. We'll go halfway with this one too. Actually, we're going the whole way with that one. That's pretty. Now, even as I'm sitting here putting it on, this part of my eye that I'm working on is pink. And now this side is the greenish gold. God, I wish you could see that. You'd think with these fucking cameras, it would be able to pick that up. But they all have a fucking tantrum when it comes to highlighters for some reason. Even photographing them. They just, they flip the fuck out all the time. I do have some fallout with that one. Choose the, oh, and it's sticking around. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I just have, yeah, it's all stuck right here. <laughs> Whoopsie. Y'all know that anyway. You're working with duochromes, multichromes. A lot of people do their eyes first. So if you have fallout, you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to try to find a shade to put over that. I got my green one. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. I got that Mac palette in here. Okay. Try this first shade here. What the fuck it's called? It's not like um, sparkly or anything. It's just pretty. It's a pretty pink shade. <laughs> this is a nice one. I like all these little Mac palettes. And that made a nice little eye look. A little shimmer action on the front. There's the satin over here now. Works for me. Works for me. What lippy do I want to put on? I'll try the other one. I'll show you the other hard candy. Okay, this one's called My Type. So this one's a little deeper. Of course, I put this one on like first thing when I got it. You can see how shiny it is. I mean, you could do just that one thing and you're good. But it melts right on. And it's one of those where it will get, you know, probably messy around the edges. That's where you can just, you know, wipe the edges off is all I can tell you. I'll do a little blot. Maybe you'll see the color. Nope. See, it's light. And a little bit of, like I said, maybe peppermint to it, but very light. Sorry, I don't need that box. That <laughs> Teresa, wow, I did not think they still made those cups. I know I've seen those cups. <laughs> Alex, yes, I can see it now. People throwing pellets on top of my coffin. <laughs> Obituary, she never hit pants. <laughs> Why are you funny and Laura? You used to fucking kill me. Alexander, I'd probably pop up and say, hey, be careful, it's a limited edition palette. <laughs> no caskets here. No caskets here. Land is at a premium. Most cremate and a few with money have a slip in the wall, but no traditional caskets fit in those. That's true. I mean, you could throw me out in the back and let the crows fucking eat me. I really don't care. I'm dead. <laughs> fucking cares. <laughs> Feed nature. Throw me on one of those body farms where they, you know, keep for science of what the fuck happens to you. I, you're dead. What are you going to fuck what you do to me? Everybody's fucking dying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, oh my god, her sister asked her who she was leaving her Harry Potter collection to. I said, my boys, if they want it. I told her I have no plans of going anywhere for a while. Good for you. Oh my god. Hello, Scorpion. You're, you're at the right place for some, I don't know about relaxation. They're all like laughing their ass off in the fucking comments. We're having some fun here. Join in and enjoy the laugh. Yep, those are Team U brushes. That was like probably one of my first orders from, I don't know how many fucking videos back. I'm pretty sure I have no Team U orders out now. <laughs> pretty fucking sure. Because <laughs> the, the pile is still here. I have to literally go, okay, now I have it all. And try to literally bust it down into okay. I have the foundation, I have this, this, and I'm probably gonna do a whole another face, but I still need to try a couple of the other palettes too. Thank you, Miss Laura. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. <laughs> you don't want to miss the chaos and fun on Saturday nights. <laughs> oh, Miss Scorpion's going through something. I missed it. What I miss. Oh, sweetheart. 
Oh, everything always works out. Oh my God. I came to the right place for a laugh. Yeah, you're here to have a little break, exactly. Oh, thank you, Scorpion. I just did it today. You know, mixing a few more colors together. I still got some blonde happening. It's. I'm, I'm trying not to go dark again yet. I want to play with the lighter shades. I'm trying to still use up hair colors. Those have not interested me at all. Teresa is asking, has anyone tried the new... I know they're pretty new. Uh, NYX Vitamin C Liquid Shadows. I think that's what threw me off was the price. She noticed the price. It was about $10.50. But she is like in the tangerine color. Yeah, and that's why probably why I grabbed it. Because Emily Noel goes nuts about the brush from e.l.f. And that's where I saw, okay, well, this end is very similar to the e.l.f., I'm sure. This is a nice little brush to this, you know, end here. You could... Do literally your concealer, all that with it. But this head is definitely, I can just tell, it's not as, hers is a little more flared, and I think it's a little flatter. This has more of a dome to it. But for like a dollar something brush again, you don't see me throwing it across the fucking room, do you? It's not bad. Again, shocking. I agree, Marsha. Absolutely. I have no kids right that shit. Easy to do a haul, but my stuff is so big. So you can break up your hauls. Here's the clothes haul. Here's this haul. And you get more videos out of it. Oh, you know them. We'll make you laugh, definitely. And Elf makes great brushes. They're another one. They're, they've raised them in price over the years, but everybody's raised their price over the years. No, I did not buy those licks, licks, nicks, shadow things. I bought these jumbo things that are eye, cheek, and lip, I guess, or just body. What's this say? Multi use face stick. They don't dry down. That's why I put shadows over them. But I do have the purple here as a highlight. And then the gold over here. But the gold, like, left a line, and I had to bust my ass quickly to get that line off because I felt like it was drying down but they don't dry down it's weird the the team use stuff is kind of mind-blowing check out I've done at least this is probably at least my third or fourth video and I even did a get ready with me using all team you it's shocking it's confusing because we're, we're just like <laughs> some of these palettes are like how how are you making palettes this good and blushes and all this that's like in stuff five bucks or less on most of it? Like this brand here, this Infamy and whatever the fuck they're called. This beautiful purple. <laughs> oh my god. There's a there's a blue one. So this is the green. These are fucking nice. I mean, it looks just like a fucking Huda palette. <laughs> Look at the quality it's fucking decent. It's not, not everything. I mean, we, we do have little hits and misses. The one I do want to play with in one of these days, we fuck, I put eyeshadow on. Because I haven't really tried this brand, but I did swatches of this. This is the uh, Beauty Glazed Meet Your Match Color Flame Eyeshadow. Oh, this one open like a fucking book it opens this way this swatched out really nice and you can just tell of okay that those are gonna fucking work and at this point now the, just a brush it landed face up good the brush cleaner thingy now that i got the bronzers in today i literally think i have everything i probably didn't buy a concealer because i don't have to use concealer half time anyway but I know I have foundation, blush. You know, I definitely have bronzer. I have eyeshadows, fucking lipsticks, mascaras, tons of highlighters, tons of lippies. <laughs> uh, I bought the eye bases. 
This would be like a P. Louise dupe. I bought their, I think, yeah, the other eyeshadow primer that looks like this. It would be like a normal one. I now have their glitter glue, which is literally NYX in a tube. <laughs> Not that the NYX, NYX <laughs> is that expensive, but this is still cheaper and literally it's, this is glitter primer and the other one says glitter primer. They have the exact same amount of product. Same shelf life. I, I, ingredients, mica talc. I'm going deep here reading this with no fucking glasses on. I can read the ingredients easier off this one than I can the NYX. It's probably the same fucking thing. It's glitter primer. Or shadow primer. Or glitter primer, they like to call it. You're going to have hit and miss, just like we have hit and miss with other brands, but when you only spent like a fucking dollar on it, you go, gives a shit. These blushes that look like a rare beauty dupe are basically a rare beauty dupe. <laughs> They're pigmented. <laughs> they fucking work. I've had way more hits than misses, and I've only had one item show up broken, and it was a single eyeshadow. And... It, none of it really came out of the packaging itself. It just it exploded in there. And I just pressed it back in with a fucking paper towel on my thumb, basically. And it was fine. But I, I have everything at this point. Blushes, multiple lippies, multiple fucking highlighters. And there's nothing really bad yet. I gotta still try a couple of the eyeshadow palettes. I mean, we think we have a dupe for the Natasha Denona pastel palette, which is very possible. It, it's wild. And it's supposedly they just get from direct from the manufacturer or whatever. So they're cutting out the middleman because most of us are confused of how the fuck are they selling this stuff for this cheap? Nothing's had like weird smells, textures. It, <laughs> and like I said, I've had multiple orders now. One single eyeshadow was the only thing broken. It's wild. It's just absolutely fucking wild. Not a lot of anything to do single holes. No most of it. Exactly. You do whatever you want, Patty. I, I think I forgot to come on. You wear that crown for your birthday month. I was laughing. You said, I put my crown on. You're her tiara. Like, rock that shit, girl. I like orange coppery, too. I do. I've been liking everything so far from Team U. It's just... I'm still confused. Free shipping from Timu. <laughs> Girl, they will, if you say, I have a link below. Try it. I don't know. If, whatever. <laughs> I think it's pretty much free shipping all the fucking time. They're going to send you a billion fucking text messages <laughs> and emails. But they'll send you some crazy discount of like $100 off your order. Especially when it's like your first time ordering. I think you get more of that hundred dollars off because my first order I was just I didn't know what was happening because I was the site has so much on it I just kept going whatever and throwing it in the basket just into the basket and at what point I look at the basket and I had like 40 something items I was like the fuck am I even up to here money wise and I looked at the cart and I was still only a little over a hundred something dollars I'm like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> like and it wasn't just makeup I had it, I've been buying random house stuff <laughs> I bought, I got to try those out, uh, little balls that you put in the dryer to grab the pet hair. I'm like, we'll put those motherfuckers to the test and see if they work. I, they, I have four of them now, three or four of the, um, or it's an optical illusion rug. And they're nothing that expensive, but they're not really cheap, cheap either, where it's an optical illusion where it looks like, you know, a caving in. <laughs> Fuck with the animals with it. But I know the cats can see it, and I was checking with the dog, because I was like, I forgot to see if the dog can see it. So I'd gotten in a new one, I put it down, and then I ran so I could get ahead of him and watch him. And he walked up, and he knew, he knew the rug was new, and he looked at it, and he was like, mm, and he walked around the whole part. 
But every cat's walked up and they freak out at first, but then the beauty is the smartest. She goes her paw right for the center where like the hole would look like it's going. And she'll lightly press her paw down to go like, oh, okay, I'm not going to fall in. Once they've now figured out that's where the hole is, because sometimes it's more to the left of the rug, could be to the right, somewhere kind of centered. Now I find the cat's laying directly on where the hole is in the rug. It's the funniest goddamn thing. Greg's just like, oh my God, you're such an asshole. I'm like, I'm going to fill the whole bathroom with them. I go, then I'm just going to, because they hate shut doors. I go, I'm just going to cover the floor with them. Okay, shut the door, put the toilet seat down. Obviously it's always down anyway. Sit there and just see what they do if they walk in now that they're all like the whole floor is covered just to freak them out. I'm an only child. I have no kids. I got to fuck with my animals. But dogs and cats can see that fucking optical illusion, which how the fuck would you know until you do it? Oh, thanks, Bunny. Bunny uh, Ulta has five off 25 non-prestige coupon in the app on the homepage. I have the app, too. It's just fun to look at. You know, everything's like free shipping. The clothes, I actually have one on tonight again. Um, this shrank a little. This was a large. The clothes are... They're not horrible. They're, but this one shrank a little bit. This one says, um, I will put you in the trunk and help people look for you. Stop playing with me. So this is a large. So now I've learned definitely every time I buy a shirt, just buy the fucking extra large. Or 1X, 2XL. So yeah, I will put you in the trunk and help people look for you. And this is shit that I would, you know, I'd have a hoodie on probably with this and see it. Even the other day, I had the one on that I, <laughs> when I was going to my pot shop. It goes, there is a 99% chance I don't care. Even the guy stopped me at the door. He goes, oh, really? I read the shirt. Wait a minute. He's like, oh, my God. Okay. He didn't give a shit about seeing my ID, but he wanted to read my shirt. <laughs> I look like a 12-year-old when I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it could take a, a little over a week to get the order from team you um but they do give you like as soon as you kind of much order it'll go you're gonna get your order between this date and this date and if it doesn't get there by that date you get a five dollar credit now i had one where it goes it's gonna show up by the 14th now it showed up on the 14th i think it was after five o'clock which to me shouldn't have a bearing on a fucking time the guy scanned it left it on the porch all that they gave me a five dollar credit going we are so sorry it was late, but here's a $5 credit. So I think I still have that $5 credit on the account. And I'm just laughing going, but it wasn't late. <laughs> I don't know if they have a, like the poor bastard on a time limit, but I go, to me, if it showed up by midnight, it's not late. So I have a $5 credit. It's, it, and it's like anything, but there's household, auto. I have some kick-ass sunglasses, three, four bucks. They're actually decent. I've been rocking them all over the fucking yard. Yeah, it's that's funny exactly. Because <laughs> you get started on Team U, it's dangerous and addicting. Absolutely. Everything comes out of China, Teresa, so I ain't fucking worried about it. <laughs> we never, I, beforehand, had I ever looked at where anything is fucking made or how much product they had in it? No, I never. Hello, Pyramid. Yeah, everything's from overseas. Oh, my God. Yes, I got flashlights, sandals, T-shirts, the bandanas, makeup, a little vacuum. Oh, I got that little blender thing in. Okay. It's not working with the fruit. My strawberries were a little hard, though. So, and the watermelon uh, still has a little bulk to it. Um... I'm definitely not a person who does like a protein drink or whatever. I think I should want to say like a powder and mix it with almond milk or some shit. Not my thing. <laughs> I, just, I just drink milk. Vitamin D whole milk. <laughs> but for that, I think that would work perfect. Because it does have some good tornado action once you get it going. And I was just even at that point, I, went, ah, I just poured my, I made a mixed drink in it. Like I couldn't put the fucking straw in and mix it. But I wanted to try it. And, but I couldn't get the strawberries to, I think the blades are too wide maybe on it. But I go, oh, this would work with people who have like those powdered drinks or whatever the fuck. I don't know. 
to any of that shit. But I got it for like 10 bucks. Wasn't bad at all. Scorpion, that's my kind of t shirt. <laughs> they have some funny ones. Now it's once it says high maintenance and it's like Bill Potleaf, but it says high H I G H and actually it's like a rainbow like this. All kinds of fun shit on there. It's all kinds of dresses, clothes, there's everything. That's why it's like in the makeup part, like when you go to beauty and you, I scrolled one time, you know, you just get locked in. I had been scrolling 45 fucking minutes. And then finally I realized like, okay, my shoulder's fucking numb from like leaning on it. And how long have I been on here? I'm like, where is the end of this fucking page? I was getting to the point of, is it just re-showing me this stuff? I would think I would notice that. They have a lot of stuff. But they will send you the billion texts of secret mystery sale and we'll sell you three for ten. And if you, you don't have to check out all your items. So say you throw a bunch of vitamins in there. They'll go, hey, we picked three items and we're, we'll give you these three for ten bucks. They they suck you in. But so far, like the makeup's really not fucking bad. I, I, I am. I'm questioning a lot of my purchases <laughs> to go. Because I didn't want to buy all dupes, but I did buy a lot of dupes. If you just watch the other videos, I'll fast forward through them. You'll see that even like, it literally says Sky High on it, mascara. Or like the Maybelline Sky High. It even has basically the same wand, but it's just, it does the, the Maybelline Sky High has a very jiggly, movable. This is just a little stiffer. But it wears just as well. I've had no eye irritation from anything. Nothing's broken me out. It's it's shocking. It's just fucking shocking. As as you like, I want to shoot myself and go, how much did I spend on a palette? I have no problem spending on my Viseart. I would never complain about my Viseart. But even to be like, if I paid full price, which I didn't pay full price for that either. But to pay, which is still a good value because that is a beautiful palette. Like the Norvina ABH palette, that's like 50, 60 bucks. They're at TJ Maxx right now for like 20. A bunch of them. <laughs> but they're nice palettes. But I start to go, well, what the fuck? And even like the Hudas, the Nine Panners going, those are up to what? 32 fucking dollars? Again, you're paying for the packaging, the Huda name. Even on one of them, doesn't it say Huda? This is one I don't think we tried yet. Yeah, this one actually says Huda Story on it. Where? <laughs> on the back. It's like, what in the hell? Now, this is, these are small. This is a different brand than that other one. I haven't used this yet. I think these swatched kind of okay, but this is like totally mid tone. It's, yeah. And I, if, from what Nadie was talking about, he said they kept wanting to sponsor people. I'm like, figures. I've done how many fucking videos? You don't see me getting fucking sponsored. <laughs> but at the same time, I go, I should probably add it up of what I spent. I bought a lot of fucking makeup. And I'm going to say it's probably less than $100. Easily. And I bought a lot of fucking makeup. Because I don't, I wouldn't want to include all the like shit slippers, fucking hose things <laughs> to add to your hose. I've bought so even like the random stuff. Do I have any other random stuff down here? Probably not. But it's and to me I go yeah like the little shadow. Oh, it showed up broken. It was probably eighty five cents. Because <laughs> even the prices are like what? Yeah, it was this one. This one showed up broken, and this says profusion on it. Is it by profusion? No. <laughs> but these were like little duochromes. Look at this. Only orange to fucking gold. Yeah, it's a little single shadow, but fucking thing worked. All kinds of lippies. Mascaras. Looks like cigarettes. <laughs> it's it's wild. It's wild. That's why I was like, I have to, most of my stuff always seems to come in two shipments. <laughs> they sell perfume dupes. 
it's more you're going to definitely get the bottle. The scent is questionable, but that's like a Tom Ford dupe. It was like nine bucks. I bought one of the Carolina Herrera, like with, with the high heel. The scent's not bad. I mean, that's better than the dossiers right up there with, you know, the Carolina Herrera. But I'm like, I buy it just for the shoe. <laughs> I would know which one's real and which one's not by the packaging because there is just a slight difference. But overall, sitting here, you wouldn't know if it's real or not. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. I got those on Amazon. Yeah, the naughty pens. It's like, fuck that Friday. <laughs> I still got them over there. And cut a bitch Tuesday or something. They had the fucking, those pens were funny. They're around here somewhere. It's getting hot. My bronzed up. I'm just so hot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pyramid. Just mixing colors together again. Uh, latest hair is cloud tint mixed with moon child, which is not a tint. And then a dash of blue from punky color. Just a like literally quarter to a half teaspoon tops. Just a tiny little blurb in the whole in the whole thing of color, just to give it a little something. Keeping it light for now. I'll be back to blue eventually. I never worry about getting hacked. My own fucking bank's gotten hacked constantly. Oh, Patty ordered the picture printer. She'll let us know if it works. Cool, let us know. All these countries fuck around with child labor. We got child labor here. Who the fuck we can? Didn't they find all the kids working in the fucking slaughterhouses here? The, the midnight shift to boot? They had been nine, ten years old? I was babysitting when I was ten. Easily. I was working actual real jobs by the time I was, what, 14? To work. <laughs> That's why if I did reproduce, it'd be my little fucking, like, you're vacuuming, you're doing this. I As soon as they were able to push stuff, I'd be like, have at it. <laughs> I ain't buying the Roomba thing at 400 bucks, so I'll have to cruise around the fucking house and terrorize the animals. That wouldn't have lasted three minutes with fucking Lola back in the day. There you go. That's a great idea, Bunny, yeah. Patty, when you get the savings, try and make a video. Like, here's a $19 printer. Let's see it in action. Exactly, Pyramid. But that's what I think she's charging now, right? 32 bucks for a nine pan? All right, who is up to 32 They started out at, what, 25 And these fucking things are like 5 bucks. I'm like, I've even tried to dupe the Huda palettes with these. And it was close. But at the same time, you go, fucking, I want, like, this color story here is just so, even just the pack. I think there was two different ones of this with the butterfly. By Beauty Glazed. But that's a beautiful, that's some beautiful shades. I mean, it's fucking pretty. They have beautiful embossing. The packaging's nice. And I'm just like, what? the fuck the one of the best ones has got to be there's a blush palette makeup forever launched more of a um it's more of a foundation palette the makeup they might have a blush one though too you know um this is by carla secret this was again like five six bucks if that by the time you and then there's always like a discount spend the fucking wheel we'll take another 40 percent off you you get your price and it's like it's kind of like where like Kohl's or any of those are like you saved four hundred dollars but you only spend fifty. <laughs> it's like okay. This is a bitch to get open with these fucking nails on. Okay. Oh, so Gina brought in Gina has the Makeup Forever palette that looks just like this. 
that's 85 fucking dollars. She knew I wanted to see it because I wanted to feel the formula. Now, I know Makeup Forever has their own formula. This place is going to have their own formula. This is a damn good formula. <laughs> it's not oily. It's not you know, greasy, slippery, any of that. It's pigmented as fuck, and it blends out. I've used it in one of the videos with these. So I just wanted to feel her Makeup Forever. I own a ton of Makeup Forever. I just didn't, I wasn't paying $85 for one of these. Because that Makeup Forever palette is technically more for artists to blend foundations custom for clients and things like that. But this is a beautiful blush palette where you're getting pinks on one side and coral oranges on the other. And this is fucking nice. It's fucking nice. But it's like literally the same packaging. But it's, you know, it's the size of my, my, my hand. My hand's not huge or anything. But it's the same size as the Makeup Forever one. Again, $85. $5-$6. I'll take the $5-$6. Yep, they're cutting out the middlemen. Exactly. I mean, I've watched enough channels where they talk about chemicals in the makeup. We've been putting this shit on our face for how many years now? Fuck, since I was a kid, I've been playing with makeup. Say, I'm 53. We'll say over 45 years. <laughs> I'm still intact. <laughs> all the plastics and all the chemicals. Well preserved. Exactly. You can print for anything. Yeah, exactly. The candy cigarettes. That's what it took me back to of we had those as a kid. Exactly. You're shopping like a billionaire. And that's where on the ingredients, like I said, of a lot of them are, it's the same shit that's every other fucking palette we buy. Even look at like the, um, even with our regular brands, like I said, like the L'Oreal or the Lancome Edo Mascara formula compared to Maybelline Sky High is the same fucking formula. You literally grab the ingredients list from both, slap them side by side, and it's Basically identical. They're by the your first five ingredients and in pretty much all cosmetics are your main fucking thing. I even give you up to eight. <laughs> the rest of the shit at the bottom, it's minimal, very fucking minimal. Because of course, if it's a different color or something, they're gonna have different. Oh, red lake number this and whatever the fuck blue. All these fucking things all come from probably the same companies again. It's probably limited companies of this one sells red lake and all the fucking pigments. You know, there's probably limited companies, just like there's like, say, five big companies that own all this shit. You know, so it is what it is. <laughs> and again, it's where I could put it on. Because even in my empties, I know I have an item. I want to say it was from fucking Origins or something. Where it, it was an eye cream, I think. As soon as I swiped it on, my fucking eye was on fire. And I was just like, holy fuck fucking shit what is happening and I had to like wipe that off immediately but that again can happen with an eyeshadow or lipstick anything of it could make you break out but I could be fine with it or I could break out and you're fine with it that's why we all love makeup because what works for you may not work for me what works for me may not work for you well it might work and it all works for all of us even fucking better <laughs> just makeup you wash it off when you're done you better be washing it off at the end of the night and double cleansing and putting your damn skincare on. <laughs> exactly. If it, even like I tried their eyeliners going, eyeliners are basically made in fucking Germany and the Czech Republic, give or take. <laughs> and their eyeliners again, not on the waterline, didn't have great lasting power, but regular fucking eyeliners. The Dior one I just bought didn't do well on the eyeliner and it was 32 fucking dollars. But again, for the lower lash line, be fine. I'm just always hunting. Ooh, okay, Teresa's letting us know. The Beauty Boost for July is a very nice vitamin C serum from First Aid Beauty. It sells for 50 bucks at Ulta and is in a blue bottle. I like them. Um, First Aid Beauty. They make nice products. 
Oh, absolutely. If they're doing you know, unethical shit, then you don't buy them. Right. My eyes are getting dry. These contacts are... When they pop out, they're going right in the garbage tonight. Spin the wheel tomorrow! Yay! I, I was even looking on TeamU for a spin the wheeler. I think they had a few, too. Then I was like, wait a minute, I gotta check them on Amazon to see, like... Because I'm still like, how big is this fucking thing? Because it's funny, some of these, those spinning wheels, oh my god, they're like hundreds of dollars. I'm like, no, I don't need to go that deep. I just, I was hoping it'd be on a stand, because I have enough shit behind me here. But worse comes to worse, I have right here, yeah. Because the diffuser's right here. I could put something on top of that if I wanted to. Because obviously I want to be able to see it to play and spin it. But some of them are like small. Like 12 inches. I'm like, that's tiny. Am I going to be able to... Because even that, I'm going to check. I'm going to have to put a hundred fucking brands on the goddamn thing somehow. I should just make... Greg's got him and all his buddies go make me a fucking spinning fucking wheel. They can make one. Make it out of an old car wheel or some shit. <laughs> I've never seen that, Teresa or Marsha. Okay, Team you can take control of your computer. I have seen them having my friend, the computer expert genius, before I purchase anything. You may check it out. Cool girl, let us know. <laughs> I've had no problems. Alexandria likes that quote about the shirt. I did get the diet. Now, I did my hair today, and I since I just colored it today, it was so funny. It was taking it down out of the towel and I'm looking at the blow dryer on the ground going oh, I don't want to take heat to it because I wanted to see what color it was <laughs> so I let it air dry again but like Gina said of oh, it may not every the other parts are probably fine where it's just like the brush or the blow dryer part it was just that the part of the rod where you're where it sucks your hair around it to make like the ringlet I guess she said that part didn't have enough bike I said she had Gina has a shitload of hair, but still, if she took a small section, she'd be able to figure out if it had enough to spin it. I think that's the only part that didn't really do it. I still got to try it, though. Like I said, I just don't blow dry my hair. <laughs> I got to, I will, though. I will. I will use it one of these nights. Oh, try a cream brush. They're fun. It just, and that's where you can, again, do you, know, you start light, tap it out. Oh, I want to add more. So you do have a little more control over it sometimes than a powder of. Sometimes, you know, a powder just sticks and you're like, shit. <laughs> Trying to blend it out real crazy. Exactly. If I have all antivirus programs and all that shit on my computer and nothing's come up like, Team is attacking me. No, I've had no issues either. I've ordered it for my phone too, so. Yeah, yeah I got cream products everywhere. I'm made by Mitchell. Love him. He's got all kinds of fun products. And he's another makeup artist where he wants you to mix his products together. He's like, hey, take the highlighter, mix it with the blush. Now you got a blush lighter. You, know, you don't have to buy the bare minerals one for 30 bucks. <laughs> but that's why he comes out with so many colors because he wants you to mix and play. He loves to play. I love Mitchell. Yeah, see, once you start using them, and then, yeah, you can put the powder blush over the top, or you do the backwards thing, you put the powder blush on first, and then the cream over the top of that, so it gives you a little extra glow sometimes. That's the way Patrick Stark does it, yeah, with one size. Yeah, as you put the powder on first, and then use a sponge, and put your cream over the top, and it does work really goddamn nice. Oh, there you go, Patty. Wet and Wild has cream blushes. I'm pretty damn sure. Even the ones from um, Hard Candy. Where'd they go? I thought they were over here. Are they over here? Yeah, it's called Face Off. So I got the two bronzers. I thought I had a blush too. No, I do have a blush. And this is more, this is a little easier. It's on a, um, you know, a little wand. So you can just dot it on instead of squeezing it out of the tube or, and this is like a gel formula. This is a great product too. Another 
Walmart. Walmart's got all kinds of fun shit. <laughs> I'm always finding something at Walmart. That's where I got the, yeah, the Knicks and the other thing. Oh, absolutely. Dan, don't forget, you can always use lipsticks as blush also. In, like, an emergency. <laughs> Put a little on your fingers of whatever lipstick you got and boom, you got blush. Yep, the Elf Putty blushes, those are pretty and they do have some with shimmer and some that are matte on the Elf. Yeah, try the powder and the cream. I loved it with the Patrick Star. Is that it, Patrick Star? Yeah. Because, I mean, I always laugh now of, especially I'm just so used to being to open, just open a palette and use it. Or, you know, do and all of a sudden I'm like, now I'm going to like, how to use? And he actually had like a list of ways to use his three blush palette there. Of, oh, put the powder on first, then put the cream on. I was like, what? Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? Then use the, like the highlighter shade. And it works. I've done it on here. Probably going to get ready with me or one of them. Yeah. And you know me, I'm not big on sponges, but now I have a whole fucking bag of them hanging upstairs. <laughs> and I should actually, I, that's what I should do too every morning now, is just wet a fucking sponge just to have it here. So we can play with stuff and have that ready. It's just, <laughs> mornings are rough. Exactly. Use elf brush. She likes the Laura likes the matte ones from Elf. There's so many. <laughs> I've got cream brushes from everybody. Well, it's cream or liquid. Because this I would I would consider more of a liquid instead of, you know, if it's flat and in a pot, then it's like a cream. But they can both be like those little rare beauty ones. Like I said, you only really don't ever buy a full fucking one of that because you're using it if that unless you're buying one blush for the rest of your life even the rare beauty the little mini size it's like literally one two dots of it tops and that's been the same with the ones i've gotten from Timu. of holy shit little goes a long way and you find out quickly of oh jesus christ like i said i have some link down below to team you and it says anybody can get one so say laura could go right in and go give me a link to team you and you just you could send it to your fucking friends by email or twitter or whatever i didn't really read about it and i always just like i said in the bottom there i always put it's an affiliate thing i don't know if like i don't know what happens but i it, i'm pretty sure it said something about with the link that the person had to be like a first time putting the app on and like your first time doing a sale there I don't fucking know I don't never tell you you know I get the links below you want to use them use them that's totally up to you I don't care either way <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> oh definitely the dual ended NYX bronze and highlight sticks those are very beginner friendly absolutely yes Patrick Todd does it too definitely bunny yep the powder first, then the cream on top. It is. It's because it, you do you feel like you're doing something backwards. <laughs> like what? Uh, shouldn't I do it the other way? But it does look really fucking nice afterwards. So it's like all right. Anyway, I mixed up some of my stuff here. Like here's another one of this beauty glazed palette. This one's you know cardboard, but still mattes, shimmers, metallics. Yeah, don't forget indie companies like Clarity. Like I said, any you, you, everybody's with this fucking bright pink blush. Check your eyeshadows. I have fucking we all have one. We've got to. Gotta have one. Yeah, but I got some more stuff coming for me uh, this week. Of uh, still haven't showed you the trend mood box. I'll do those too. I'll do trend mood. I think I got Macy's. Yeah, I got Trend Mood Macy's and Allure. I got a Ciate London package I want to show you, which I want to play with too. And then that hard candy. I want to show you that too, obviously. Yes. Um, as Laura's saying, 
the team you pack all, everything I've gotten here makeup wise on here it literally has the manufactured date and the expiration date on I'm pretty positive it's almost every piece of fucking makeup we've gotten from here of summer on the palette it will literally give you the expiration dates the fucking makeup we get here doesn't have that good of fucking made on this date and expires on this date we just get the yeah here's an open jar of six months 12 months 18 months and that was on and even the foundation this is like a dupe for um no maquillage and i just fucking lucked out that this fucking shade matched me it's called woke up like this flawless foundation i don't even know what color it is i just got the whatever the hell they had like four shades i went that might work <laughs> i just grabbed it <coughs> but the prices are so low that you get shocked like i said the nails alone what do you think i bought dozens of fucking nails i'm like 87 cents with a dollar <laughs> like come on <laughs> like i said i love my glamnetic i do but i'll give these a roll for a fucking dollar <laughs> And so far, these are fucking claws, as you can see. These are long and well. These are holding up pretty goddamn well so far. Because I don't like to usually go this long because it does make typing a fucking nightmare. But at the same time, I do like having fun with my long claws. Because even I went tonight, when I went to go put my contacts in, I was like, how the fuck are you going to get these contacts in? And I'm like, girl, you had nails longer than this when you lived in Vegas. They were probably even out to here. Probably had another half inch. I had fucking claws. I'm like, you managed to put them in fucking then, you could do it now. And it was, it was just, oh, move the fucking contact lens, you know, farther down my fucking finger to pop it in. Me make do, you figure it out. My phone just hit the 15%, so it's going to die. Which we're close, because we're at, what, 252? Yeah, welcome, Miss Laura. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like I said, everything initially on, especially the packaging, I know, said... The fucking day it just happens on the pallets that it says it on the back of the pallet if it's not on the pallet i know it says it on the packaging you know what i mean either way some of this shit's so small i can't fucking read it but this this brand here is h-a-n I've, I've done very well with products from that brand <clears throat> in this INSFANY for eyeshadow palettes so far. But you'll see the dupes on there. You're going to see a fucking bottle that you go, hey, that's fucking double wear foundation bottle from Estee Lauder. And on the bottle, it says Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> but on the box, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't even think it says Estee. It says something else, but you know it's Estee Lauder. Fucking double wear, but it says Jekyll and Hill on the bottle. It's funny as shit with the makeup. That's why I was like, I'm going for this. I've got to see what the fuck this is about. I have to see what this is fucking about. Exactly. Drugstore makeup is through the fucking roof. When they're charging $20 for foundation at the drugstore, it's like, what? Holy fuck. And that's where I'm always like thankful for extra bucks and, you know, all that shit. Or use Ulta and, you know actual fucking coupons and it sucks you have to go in store but hey if i can take another three four bucks off a fucking coupon bring it oh, greg's calling the house he knows i'm on here oh thank you miss laura love you ladies and there are there are excellent drugstore products just like we've said essence fucking elf all of them of it's everywhere but don't forget our indie brands we love our indie brands like i'm buying that new palette from uh gimme glow that's a definite it's like blueberry muffin and you know me i'm gonna go out and buy blueberries and blueberry fucking muffins and have that fucking palettes and <laughs> she kind of did other promo picks too but i'm like that's what i would definitely do i'll have that fucking shit covered in blueberries <laughs> me with my fun with food pictures as I just did my gummy bears and the watermelon and yeah, shop our stash.
I, yeah, this whole week, these past couple days have just flown by. Ah, Marsha, we got slave labor everywhere. <laughs> I, we, we, we would limit ourselves to so much of anybody who wants to, hey, go out. And if you want to buy only made in America, have at it. But I, I'm buying the makeup. <laughs> and, and, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. And again, we all have our own choices to make of. Do you want to spend that on this? Just like ridiculously priced, like I'm not buying La Mer um, skincare at thousands of dollars a jar. <laughs> it's not going to fucking happen. <laughs> not going to happen, period. But is there anything with drugstore skincare? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, again, that's where I would be more worried about my skincare ingredients than the makeup. Because at least the skincare, I'm expecting it to you know, reduce fine lines and wrinkles and pigmentation or whatever the fuck I'm slapping on it there to do. Eyeshadow is just temporary some eyeshadow. You know, the skincare is what I want to hopefully keep me looking young. <laughs> like I said, I've been slapping it on my face for years. But that's where even in, do I read the ingredients? No, but that, whenever that eye cream burned immediately, I think it was orange into it. Nope, right into the empties. And I will remember when I pick it up to go, why do I have a full tube of eye cream? Oh, because it burned. I have no idea why it burned. It was weird. Kinky Sweat made a big deal about There's a lot of products made in Italy. A lot of baked products are actually made in Italy. Baked blushes, baked highlighters. Yeah, you start turning over shit of where it's made. Where's fucking benefit made? I need this fucking thing. France. Yeah. That's fine too. Like I said, certain eyeliners, Germany, Czech Republic. We have some stuff made in the, you know, United States. Yeah, and there used to be another girl who did like <clears throat> all the ingredients and educational. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Some people really want to know that information or need to know that information before they put something on their face. That's why anything's like. You know, hey, if you have a breakout or the discontinue use. <laughs> like, I've seen no difference in these glitter primers. I've had no eye reactions to anything from Team U yet. Yet, I say. Because there is always still that possibility of something could happen. You never fucking know. All right. I'm going to get off here, my loves. Everyone self-care love tomorrow. I've got no man tomorrow. He's going to be out fishing, catching me some salmon. <laughs> He's going to get my dinner. <laughs> And my lunch, and my dinner, and my lunch. Oh my God, even if he caught five. Oh my God, that would keep me for so long because I could just fillet them up, put them in the freezer, be good to go. Mm -hmm. Miss Alexandria, Miss Pyramid, Period of Mid, Pyramid, <laughs> Miss Marcia, Miss Teresa, everyone have a fabulous night. Miss Laura, love you, lady. Miss Caitlin, I'm sure you're hanging in here too. Got all my fabulous girls. Miss Bunny Girl. How can I forget my bunny girl? Yes, to anyone going through rough and difficult times, know that you are loved and cherished. Sometimes we suffer in silence and feel alone and know that this group of friends and Brenda are here for us. Absolutely. That's why we're all here for love and support. I love y'all. Y'all support me. Good night, Miss Bam. Paul, if you're still there, have a fabulous one. Get that promo at work. We love to cheer each other on here. That's what's fun. Love everybody. But, you know, fuck with me. I'll leave you in the trunk and <laughs> help people look for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alexandria. I don't know why people would even... How can, how can you fake being fake? That would just suck. Good night, Miss Patty. Mm, all my girls. Yeah, we got a shitload of makeup to play with, so no worries. But I got like, to look into that one shadow in the clarity and just give it a good old press. Maybe it'll be okay. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Teresa. No. Oh, nothing but love. Nothing but love, my loves. All right, I'm going to go back and call the hubby before he passes out. <clears throat> but love you all. And um, hell, I may come on tomorrow. You never know. I don't know what tomorrow we'll bring. We'll see. Definitely Monday. All right. Love y'all. Have a fabulous night. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.